there's one about the desert where I live. It's beautiful. Yeah! It's beautiful but desolate. Woo! Empty and hostile. And for once, the whole truth was clear. Everything is due and there's no turning back. I'll seek no comfort and shelter, no fear. Where they plant orchards or reap barren lands. We're egalitarians with empty hands. Is it justice to split up the dust? We are damned and will never earn bread And so we shall steal everything that we must I always wanted to die young. <laughs> 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 
I never did the struggle. That one is in yeah. I woke up this morning and I wasn't in prison. But I can't promise that I'm far from it. I still kill a man for a cigarette. But I'm friends with you and he's homicide. The song goes down to all I want you to lock down. Come on back now, we need him around. That judge doesn't know what he's done. The judges never knew what they do. How could they? I want to be a 
on me! There you go, Alex. Yeah, you should shoot it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, well, you will probably have yeah. 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 to drop out. Don't even have to show me nothing but kindness. Woo! You say I know how sad you did. And some days it doesn't get that way, but it gets. So let's let's go back to what we were saying a second. <laughs> I know, I know everyone's just trying to have a everyone's just trying to have a good time. I want everyone to have a good time. I'm seeing people in the front row that you cannot see who are like not having a good time because of what's going on. So yeah, uh, if you wanna if you wanna like dance harder, you know, maybe dance that dance that way. Dance away from what's going on. If you if you don't wanna dance as hard, just be up closer and we'll and, and we'll be cozy with each other. Yeah. Okay. Oh, never show me that kind Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, oh, thank you all very much. recording actually cuts out on that, uh, that concert. Um, let's do that. Uh, yeah, Amorous, um, if, if what's being reported is true, um, the documents he took are the kind of documents you have to go into a room and check out sort of situation we're talking like secured access they're not the kind of things that you just like yeah this it, it's it's not the kind of document you take just out of sheer narcissism you'd have to have a fucking plan to get this shit out even yeah it's it's a whole thing like we're we're talking if what's being reported is accurate is crazy like crazy Homeboy tried to walk out with like some shit. Yeah, we're talking like uh, SAP sort of territory, special access programs. Uh, thank you. It's to pay off the Russians or the Saudis. It's that simple. It's tradable material. The guy's a fuck. The guy's a conniving grifter. Always has been. Always will be. This isn't out of the ordinary. This is just valuable material. He could either pay off the fucking Saudis. He could probably get his uh, the tape that the Russians have of him diddling little girls um, back with that material. There's a whole lot of stuff he could probably pay off with American, like, U.S. nuclear secrets. Oh, it's not even the codes. Guarante it, the codes don't matter. You don't want the codes. You don't want the codes. That's not a thing you want. Besides, the code is probably 000000. zero, 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 zero. Um, yeah, no, public. Yeah. I mean, that's real money. Two billion. 
<sighs> this is Russiagate friendly channel. No, this is pragmatically realistic about the narcissistic levels of leadership throughout the world. Um, hi, my name's Kai. I'm an anarchist. I don't trust anybody within governance, especially the president. Fucking Donald Trump. Jesus Christ. Fuck. I mean, Russiagate was kind of true. I mean, of course he's on the fuck. His majority of his loans come from Russia, for fuck's sake. He's beholden to them. And besides, we know they got him banging some, like, 14 or 12 or 15-year-old girls in that fucking Moscow Hilton. And he's been on the payroll ever since. They've been working him since that first flight in 87. Um, yeah, public. Basically, the reason they love one was because of fucking... Where are we? There. Idiots like that. They're like, oh, Rush Donald Trump would never sell us out. Donald Trump would sell you out to the first motherfucker that offered him a nickel. I mean, Hillary's, uh, Hillary's the worst kind of fucking candidate. What are the odds of Hicks, uh, uh, odds on Hicks starting a civil war of this? Um, some of them will try. Most of them are too fat, stupid, and lazy to even, they'll, when they miss their first KFC, like, sadness bowl or, like, KFC bucket of food that first night of the revolution, they'll be back at home watching Fox News masturbating. Seriously. They don't have it in them. Fucking, they talk about the, le like, the, the soy boy leftists all the time, but the fucking fat-ass fucking Trump supporters. Have you ever seen these motherfuckers? Have you ever seen who comes out to support Trump at those MAGA rallies? They're not exactly destined for long periods of physical activity. Yeah, one guy tried today. Yeah, the Cincinnati field office. Yeah, how'd that work out for him? Oh, he's dead? Interesting. So the federal government's more powerful than fucking Trump supporters. Who would have guessed? Hmm. <clears throat> I insist on having one. Keep it in the East Coast and the South, please. Just keep it in the South. Let them destroy their own shit. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Behold the master race. I know, right? Uh... Let's see. Let's just pull up a photo of Trump supporters. First photo that comes up. Nah, they look like they're ready to do a fucking marathon, right? Iron Man right here. Let's see. He's 70. He's covering a beer gut with a shitty tack vest. It's not even a tack vest. It's just a mag vest. Oh, oh they couldn't win it the first time. They're not going to win it the second. Dude, they couldn't win a civil war when everybody had the same gear, basically. Now they want to fucking have a civil war with a federal government that's armed with satellite technology and drones and shit? Sure, sure, Pookie. Sure, sure. All, all the while, they don't get to get their KFC bucket. Come on, fuck off with that shit. <sighs> Say now, gotta fear them. Some are built like pill pillboxes. Just add for, uh, just add for a turret. Uh, uh, now just add a turret. Donald Trump is one of, if not the, most corrupt, double-dealing, grifter-ish presidents that this country has ever seen. And now we find out he's probably trying to walk away with nuclear secrets, too. Cool. Cool, cool. Y you mean the same guy that was creeping backstage at underage, like, uh, beauty pageants who would walk, oh, by his own admission, would walk right into the dressing rooms of underage girls? 
The same guy we have testi- sworn testimony from a woman who was 13 at the time she was trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein and selected by Donald Trump because he looked like his own daughter Ivanka when placed in a blonde wig. That Donald Trump, we're going to give the benefit of the doubt to. Sure, sure. No, they weren't. No, they weren't public. That's bullshit. That's bullshit public. No, they were as young as 15 in the case of the, uh, the Miss Teen, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Miss Teen USA beauty pageant that they were talking about. No, they were young as 15 in that, in that dressing room. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, and we have multiple confirmations from Miss Teen, uh, Miss Vermont Teen USA, as well as uh, let's see who else fucking came forward and confirmed. Yeah, I'm not talking about the Howard Stern shit. I'm talking about the Miss Teen USA beauty pageants that he fucking owned and operated, and would walk into the page, uh, the uh, the pageant, uh, uh, the the uh, pageant uh, contestants. Yeah, he owned and operated that. Yeah, you're talking about Miss Universe and the Howard Stern. Yeah. No, he bragged about going to the... He didn't say underage. The organization and beauty pageant he was talking about had underage kids at it. And I'm not talking about the Howard Stern uh, on one. You're talking about the Howard Stern interview when she was talking about Miss USA, uh, Miss Universe. I'm talking about the Miss Teen USA beauty pageants. In which he has talked about, and we have confirmation from the contestants he was back there. Yes! (laughs) I need weed. I'm too sober for this. Our president is literally wholesaling fucking nuclear secrets out the back. I don't know what to do anymore. Oh. What do we got going on in commons? Oh, it's just dig and... Voss going. Oh, Don- oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck now? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The FBI murdered Fred Hampton and has a well documented history of infiltrating and destroying movements that challenge the capitalist oligarchy. So, anyone who's calling to abolish the FBI is correct, while anyone who's praising the FBI for rating their political opponent is wrong. Quote Donald Trump is the new Fred Hampton. I'm feeling nauseated. Like I'm feeling nauseated all of a sudden. Oh. You know that thing? God, Aspen's been irritating my nervous system. I need to not smoke as much. This might cause my vagus nerve to get irritated, and then this is going to get a very... This might be a very, like... We might have to change tactics for this stream if that happens. Uh, I feel moderately pokery, says Kvoss. Kvoss, I know that. I know that feeling. Um, there's a bash.org uh, dot quote that may or may not belong to me about how I'm going to make... a. Um, uh, how I'm going to make a fortune by inventing a device that allows people to stab each other through the internet. Oh, um, Alex, <laughs> Alex, Alex, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read it again because I'm already feeling pukey. Um, but here you go. Oh. I, dear sweet Jesus. I mean, you're just gonna run away. I mean, why should I address you? Should I address you? You, you run out. 
You want to run away like the coward, uh, cowardly bitch you are, or do you want to come on the air and actually have a conversation like somebody who has a set on them? Now flee, loser, flee. Prove yourself to be the cowardly little bitch that you are and run away, even in a virtual arena. This isn't upset, homie. This isn't upset. This is actually mildly stoned. Ah. Okay, well, then you won't. <laughs> oh, the last vestige of somebody who has nothing. Bitch, you're like 5'2". Do you really want to know my height? You want to know my dick size, too? You want to know the size of the piercing in my dick? You want to know how much I can bench? Do you want to know how much I can, uh, how I can, how, uh, how easily I can muscle up? You want to see footage of me pu doing pull-ups? What do you want? What, what's, what's, what's it going to take for you to, uh, uh, not be a loser? Oh, really? Oh, well, in that case, watch this. Oh, anyway. So, what did we have for headlines today? Oh, that's Hong Kong, right? The three cops that were uh, charged with uh, having sex with the underage girl. Yeah, they were all released on bail. Um, this is the weirdest fucking headline I'm probably going to read in a while. It says, uh, a chicken, soup, uh, chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment Limited has purchased Redbox. Apparently, Chicken Soup for the Soul is a large enough conglomerate to be buying companies for $75 million at a pop. Wait, $375 million at a pop. Yes, the Chicken Soup for the Soul book. Apparently, that's a huge company and can afford to spend hundreds of millions of dollars buying things. Yes, yes, Redbox, the DVD rental booth company. Yes, Caboose. A public, I have no idea the nature of the chicken, the chicken soup for the soul company series. I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> so I don't, I can't speak to who writes it. Um, you know, reasons, Caboose. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Did everybody see how powerful, how our powerful, powerful man, um, they, um, they ran away the instant I shot him down. They ran away the instant I shot him down. Literally just gone. It, it's sad. Really? I tried some of it. I tried reading some of it while pooping did nothing for me. Just like random short feel good story things. Mm. Look up their book list. It's wild. Chicken soup for the soul book list. All right, let's do this. See all our books. Jesus. So they sort of transitioned into the like uh, the it, like the dummies fucking books, right? Like that's that's basically what what it is, right? It's sort of like we're gonna do a book on everything, everything that we see is our purview. We're gonna do a book on. 
Huh. Okay. Fair enough. It's like Christian advice. Okay. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's advice books. It's just, okay, cool. <sighs> um, let's see. Oh yeah. Canada. Canada's broken, yo. Um, So Canada has the most unaffordable housing in the OECD. They have the world's most expensive wireless costs. They have the lowest rate of acute care beds among peer countries. Two of the planet's bubbliest real estate markets are in Canada. Um, only uh, second to Frankfurt, apparently. Um, they racked up COVID debt faster than anyone else. The port of Vancouver is almost the most efficient port in the world. Um... Toronto Pearson is the world's most delayed airport. They're one of the worst economies for foreign investment, according to a 2020 study at the University of Calgary. They drive the, the most fuel inefficient vehicles in the world. Um, interesting. <laughs> uh, thoughts on liver and milk diet? Oh, that's not, dude, no, no. Especially, oh God, liver's a filtering organ. That's that's the thing that's already f always freaked me out about liver diets is like di diets heavy in liver is that given what we know about the modern diet that we feed our um, our like industrially produced meat uh, eating liver which is a filtering diet uh, which is a filtering organ in mass I mean once in a while to get a hit of some you know red blood cells and a huge hit of iron and stuff like that okay but. That seems like that'd be a bad thing to do regularly. Um, which you can literally get anywhere else, says Kamas. Yeah. <laughs> Viva Canada, are you okay? Uh, Patriots are in the denials phase of grief, stages of grief. They're saying is it's not true in nuclear codes. Next week it's gonna be it's not a really big deal, really. Uh well, time to lay off those pates. Yeah, also, Jesus Christ, you could end up with um uh um the king the disease of kings. Um Jesus, why is this escaping? It's because you just smoke weed, Kai. Um Gout, thank you, Matic. No, Tina got there first. Um fucking Yes. You're going to end up with gout. <laughs> the fe Viva, the fat toe thingy. Oh, actual piss crystals in your joints. Uric acid crystals form uh, forming in your joints. Mmm, lovely. Uh, Zippy. Oh, in the days of old, the only people who could get gout were kings, basically, because they're the ones who could have a diet rich enough to achieve gout. Now, any schmuck living can basically, you know, achieve gout if you're in an OECD country, basically. If you're in one of the developed nations, any any person, a homeless person could probably achieve gout in our with our diet, with our food supply. Yeah. Yeah, once upon a time though, to have a diet rich enough to to uh, uh to achieve gout, yeah, it was it was the disease of kings. Did one of the Kims from North Korea get gal a while back? No idea. Um, <clears throat> they would compete with each other to see who could get more gout because it meant they were richer. Woo! We're number one. Oh, boy. <laughs> guy knew I had gout issues in his 20s. All he ate, uh, all he ate was uh, beer. Yeah, that'll do it. Uncle has gout. <clears throat> he can't drink anymore unless he wants the next 28 hours in, uh, in agony. Um, this is why we live better than kings, because gout. Oh, 48 hours in agony. Lovely. Trump already skipped a few phases. He's already on. What about them phase? Saying Obama did that too. 
Obama did not. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, to have a diet to get cholesterol problems back then, you were balling. Uh, yes. I'll double check that, but yes. Um, yeah, it's uh, purine primarily, but yeah, it's um, um, hyperuricemia. I could come up with hyperuricemia, but I couldn't come up with gout. That's how my brain works. If anybody's wondering, that's how my brain works. If you want like a live example of how my brain works, I couldn't f fucking get gout out of my brain, but hyperuricemia, just like that. Cause, F, Jesus. I was about to explain too how. Uh, <laughs> after what you did already. Thank you for the resub, non binary. Um, before Kai CTE arc. Uh, cat, I wouldn't have been able to reach the hyperuricemia if I had CTE either. I'd probably be out here talking about how, um, you know, the tr my one of my true regrets in life would be that I can't experience watching my stream. I mean, I can watch my stream after the fact, but that's not the same. I mean, you get to watch me, not as me. That's a true experience that, you know, I I'll never get. Um, Antonio Brown? Anthony? It's, it it's Brown. I know that but I think it's Antonio Brown, right? Yeah. <laughs> that crazy motherfucker. Actual evidence of CTE. No, it's, um, yeah, it's Antonio Brown. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's an actual walking case for pre and post. Uh, Uh, no, we are the universal ideal, which can be interpreted through the Hegelian ideal in a crude fashion. <gasps> wait, wait, hang on. We have to check. We have to check. We have to check, right? We have to twat. Uh, we have to check. We have to twat. We have to, we have to check. <gasps> it's not me. It's not me. Oh my God. Okay. That's... <sighs> what a fickle bastard. Already, already cheating on you, Sisk Voss. To be honest, he probably saw us laughing at him finally. Later, Alex. It appears to be himself watching a bot of himself. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's not even watching himself anymore. He's just out of the corner. Wait, am I not? Jesus. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, Amaris. I'm still wondering whether I want to send ha a has link over to him, though. W would find, like, one of the has videos where he talks about Hegel a bunch and then send that over to him. We were considering that. It's fucking evil, though, and we may end the world by doing it. Like, we're, I'm very aware. Like, we could, that's, 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 you know, messing with forces beyond your ken sort of territory. Yeah. Like, connect those two energies. Ah, uh, Kvass, there's literally no point. Oh, uh, non-binary. They've, al they've always had a SWAT team and uh, ability to execute with force. I, I know a bunch of people just found out through the job posting, but in gun circles, it's been a joke that, like, yeah, applying to the IRS requires gun training for ages, for decades now. Yeah, they have their own SWAT teams. They have their own, like, yeah. Yeah, the IRS is fully armed. Like, and their agents are, like, considered... When they go in the field to deal with people, they realize they are going into the field as IRS agents to deal with potential people whose lives will be ruined, and so tensions can get a little high. 
And so, no, they're all usually armed or there's police aware of where they are sort of backup situation just in case. Yeah, it's been that way for ages. Did Haz read Hegel for 3,100 hours? No. Cat. Now to tell Kvass. Kvass, this is who asked that question. Now tell Kvass that Kvass should read Hegel. Please. Go for it. <laughs> we don't know yet. Um, the the current like insider dig on this one um, is that he probably he tried to walk out with nuclear secrets. Like this is the insider information on this one apparently right now is the, the word on the street is something to do with our nuclear program. That's why they reacted the way they did. Yeah. So imagine like SAP sort of like special access programs. That's kind of stuff we only keep printed versions of. We don't keep digital documents. That's that sort of level of stuff, right? The real heavy stuff. Yeah. He tried to walk out with a bunch of that. Yeah, Axel. They just gave him two billion a little bit ago. A little bit ago. A little bit ago. <laughs> Kavas asking Cat, why should I read the weird politics, man? <laughs> oh. Yeah, two billion to Kushner, which is a good, you know, give it to Jared. It's a good launder. You know, you hand it off to the, the son-in-law rather than him directly. Beard. Donald Trump fails in the last hour. Donald Trump doesn't usually fail in the first hour. And that's what people are forgetting. Is... This is sort of how Donald Trump's life works. He built four casinos. He bankrupted them, right? It's, it's, he built a, he, he launched a state company. He bankrupted it. He launched a university. He bankrupted it, right? He gets the project going, but then in the last half, he fails, right? He fails. He, he can never quite close the deal. I think we may just be witnessing one of those sorts of Donald Trump's de Donald Trump dealings once more. <clears throat> Axel, I and just to everybody like here, he's incompetent. Yes, but he's a grifter first for people. Remember, he, he this isn't he didn't do this on accident. He did this with malicious intent. He did this because there's a power play at work. He's a grifter. That stuff is worth shit. It's worth influence. It's worth money. It's worth shit. That stuff is worth stuff to a lot of very, very powerful people who the type Donald Trump types like to curry favor with. This is right up his alley. It's just on a scale that he's never had access to. But had he had access to it earlier, he would have tried this sooner, probably. Yeah. We'll see what it is, Beard. Because if it's not an original copy, then they don't necessarily know. If he's circumvented the confidentiality processes, you see, people are forgetting. Most, most people, most people 
would have to follow all of the rules, right? The president, when coming to certain areas of confidentiality, can just disclose as his own discretion. The nuclear shit, but the rules of engagement with the document are different for the president than anyone else. It's just the way it works. They will bring him said documents. They will make it, they will make it easier. They'll put it in a secured portion of the White House for him, and he can visit it there. It's that sort of thing. His he doesn't get the same rule set you and I get even. So his access doesn't look like our access. His ability doesn't look like our ability. You have to remember, this is all through the lens of a president of the United States of America. This is near as close to as you can get to give me the fucking key I want to look. Uh, Non-binary? Mm, not really. I think they're more worried about what the fuck he just walked out with. I mean, I know he gave secrets to Israel. Oh, no, he gave secrets to Russia about Israel. So. Oh, wait, where was this fucking idiot? I don't even see him. Where is this person? I didn't even fucking see him. Jesus Christ, I'd have to scroll all the way back here. You still here? No, that person left. Those are the gout conversation. Jesus Christ. See, and Axel, at this point, we don't know. That's the problem. We don't fucking know. A lot of things are being reported. <laughs> you think it's going to cause Democrats to vote red? Wow. You don't make your living as a political analyst then, do you? You want to bet? Like, you want to put some money on it? Hi, I'm from Vegas. We run gambling. That's a bet that even I'd be willing to take. There's not many people that be fucking that. Wow. That's a fucking that's a do you have any logic to back that up whatsoever? Nth dimensional chess is back. But aren't Democrats okay with abuses of power? Isn't that the, the charge that the right wing makes to the left all the time? Yeah, I know. Dems are laughing their asses off at the raid. How would it make them laugh, vote red? Like, I, I you know, cat, uh, I'll bet a couple grand on it. Buttery mails, buttery mails. Yeah, I know. I saw right away. He he immediately went to buttery mails. It was fucking ridiculous. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Somebody literally paid to have a plane fly over that said ha 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 ha. Like, 
fucking Democrats are going to vote red suddenly against their complete interest to do so because Donald Trump got raided by the FBI at Mar-a-Lago. Explain to me your logic. Explain to me the logic on this one. Abuse of power does not cover. It's that's not a logic process. It's not a process by which you got there. Explain to me how Donald Trump, the bane of Democrats and the quote unquote left in this country, uh, getting raided by the FBI for potentially having committed a felony that he himself made a felony by his own uh, um, his own pushing a law through going after Hillary Clinton and her buttery males um, two years. I'm uh, sorry, four years prior to this. The 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 actual ba how what is the what is the logic process please for the love of everything holy who 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 was this person Jesus Christ Ice Man's Jesus fuck want to hear a racist joke Donald Trump <laughs> please please explain me that logic that's the dumbest shit I've heard. Fuck! This is gonna make Democrats vote for vote vote red in the next election. You know, what kind of boomer cope is that? You know, you know that that Nazi down the street. If he gets his ass kicked, you're probably gonna support Nazis. How does one open an escrow account for this type of bet chat? Yeah, yeah, Iceman, we've got people willing to put down thousands of dollars on this bet. This is the dumbest shit I've heard in a while. You want to bet? How certain are you? Are you willing to put actual cash on this one? You seem to be a uh, you seem to be a capitalist type, right? Fana, making money in America. Let's let's do this. This is insane. This is the dumbest take I've ever heard. And we can metric this. This is a quantifiable bet. We can look at the shift of, uh, of Democratic votes for the presidential outcome previously and the, uh, and the next one. We can look at this. Oh, yes, we need both the Democratic and the independent vote shitting, uh, shifting as well. Shitting, shifting as well. And your start of uh, describing a logical process was stating that you used to be a Democrat and you live in California. Um, okay, so all you've told me is you probably are white and have money or you just have money. So congratulations. Or you're an idiot. Because if you're broke and you're like voting Republican, you're a fucking idiot. If you vote Republican and you're rich, I get it. I get it. Like, I get it. You're voting in your best interests. But if you're not rich and you vote Republican, well then, what are you doing? And no, you will never ever be a billionaire. What does Trump's hair and a thong have in common? They both barely cover the asshole. That is true. He has terrible hair. Hey, Aka. Oh. Especially in California, just throwing the boat away. What's rich? Five to ten mil you can start calling yourself rich. Yeah. Five to ten mil. Something in there you can talk to me at least about using the word rich. Don't ever use the word wealthy. Don't ever use the word wealthy around me. You need to tack on a couple few zeros after that to get wealthy. But five to 10 mil, you can call yourself rich. Trump's medical records were just released. According to the brain scan, the left side of his brain has nothing right, while the right side has nothing left.
in in stackable in uh, in assets. I don't I don't need you to have it liquid. Um, beard. Yeah, just in assets. I'm fine with that. Depending on what the assets are, there's some assets out there that aren't worth fucking shit. We'd have to review it. But if you got five to ten liquid, or you're earning five to ten, you're definitely in. Um, what's the difference between Trump and a flying pig? An F. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, beast probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes. The answer, yes. Um. Hey, where'd our... Um, what do you call it? Disney princess that supports all Trump? Snow White supremacist? So where'd our idiot go? Where'd our... Where'd our... Where'd our, our where's our... Where's... The, he was so sure of himself. Where'd he go? Come on, man. We got... You could... You could make a shit ton of money right now. You can make a shit ton of money right now. Dude, I'm in Vegas. We can make this happen. We can make this happen. You want to make like 7,000 uh, 7, bucks easy? Just like easy? Because you're sure, right? You're sure. You're sure of this, right, homie? You're certain. So let's just do this. <laughs> He's repeating, person, woman, man, camera, TV. Public, can I do a gambles? Only, only if our Democrat whisperer here wants to bet on the FBI raiding Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago compound, leading to Democrats and independents in mass voting red because of, quote, abuse of power. Oh, beard. Oh, I'll put 5k against that. Dude, we got probably 25k sitting in chat right now. Like easy money. Iceman, Icemans, Icemans. <clears throat> Public, that's why I want to get in on this. <laughs> Actually, no Democrats. <laughs> that would be based if chat could crowdfund a 30, 40k betting pop for shit like this. Cat, imagine just taking like 5k of these idiots money at a pop. This is like, yeah, that's a stupid bet. We in on this one? Yeah. Betting pool's in on this one. We'll take a quick vote. We'll see if we're in on it. And then we'll fucking get in on it. <laughs> take their money via betting pool. Uh, so is Tim Pool's 50 straights win prediction will come true? 100%. Yeah, guaranteed. I know Obama voters that supported Trump. I mean, public. You run, of course, public. I, 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 I've listened to you long enough. I know kind of like your family situation, your parents and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Obama voters that voted Trump. <laughs> you seem to be like you're the type of sort that would run in circles that know people with some real estate holdings and, you know, business mindedness and that sort of thing. You probably know a couple of folks like that. Also, probably some disillusioned folk. Um. Uh, Facebook. Oh, that doesn't count as knowing people's Facebook, Facebook, Facebook is not doing well. A uh, new report came out. Just none of the teens are using it. Just none. It's just dead under a certain age. Facebook's just dead. It's just age aging out as a technology now, like slowly but surely. YouTube is a more popular social platform than Facebook now. Like that's as a community comment interaction, like as a social platform, YouTube is more popular than Facebook for that. It's astounding. <sighs> Disillusioned white dude turning to Trump is the saddest possible. Arx's cat. I know, right? Uh, Facebook's becoming MySpace. <laughs> My stickers were all over the place when I hated Facebook. Uh, oh, thank fuck for that. I miss Tom. Yeah, except Tom sold. Oh, look. Okay, Tom Tom sold and got out when he should, and I don't resent him whatsoever for that. I think he's my actual hero for that. He took like $568 million and just fucked off. He's like a travel photographer now. He's just living the life. God bless. But he sold, if I remember correctly, to um, Rupert Murdoch. 
So you know. Um some Chinese firm has its hands in it now, as is tradition at this point. Oh, oh, cat. Cat, you're here. Cat, cat, you need to see this cat. Cat, you need to see this. This is this is this is cursed. The ticker derb! This is cursed. You ready, cat? I hope you're watching. It's an anime ATM bank thing in Russia. Just, just that, just that. <laughs> Not binary. <laughs> Send me one. I'll take it. Take it apart. Um, the weebs are gonna win. <laughs> Uh, um, I don't know if I can, how I do this. Um, reminding you how little money you have personified through a non-real girl behind a screen. So for those of you who want to click this link, feel free to click this link. I will tell you ahead of time, there's going to be drawn nudity, <laughs> but it's funny. Um, <laughs> so have fun with it. Uh, so let's go through Donald Trump's uh, fundraising scheme right now, because this is the email people are getting right now. Oops. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, when do we ruin Nuke Russia twice? Uh, <laughs> damn, if he's doing crazy back in the day. Um, look, I found it. I was amused. It's yours now. So, congratulations! President Trump chose you as Patriot of the Month. Congratulations, Patriot of the Month. You have been chosen as President Trump's Patriot of the Month. Because of your loyalty to President Trump, he is offering you an exclusive five times impact. Hurry and give any amount in the next hour to claim your five times impact offer and retain your prestigious status as Patriot of the Month. Donated before using an account, log in. Your contribution. Total impact, $600. If you choose the $100 tab, which is selected by default, but it goes from $45 all the way to $250 within other, your contribution will benefit Save America Joint Fundraising Committee. But wait, there's more. The future of our country is at stake, and President Trump is calling on all patriots to join his fight to America, uh, fight to save America. Will you step up? Make this a monthly recurring donation. But wait, President Trump, these are dark times for our nation, as your, my beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, was raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. As long as I have your support, I will continue to fight for the great American people. I need every single red-blooded American to step up during this time. Donate an additional $100 automatically on 819. Sign up for text messages from Donald Trump. I'm providing your phone number. You're joining, uh, you're joining a recurring text messaging program for Save America JFC. Message and data rates may apply. Terms and, uh, terms and policy. Pro, uh, policy team. Continue. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
What's up, Reborn? Um, <laughs> imagine if he runs in the middle of an investigation. Oh, it's just hastily thrown together by a fucking intern who doesn't get paid. My beautiful new. Uh, so anybody want to see pro-lifers get harassed? the dude looking at him like what the fuck he just I made cake <laughs> just so matter of fact I made cake oh public this dude you know what just for you public just for you just for you There you go, public. You better be watching this time, public. All working so hard to harass women as they get health care. I, th I brought you some cake. Ooh, okay. oh, no, I brought you cake. It's cake. Excuse me, officers. I, I hate women. I'm supposed to be here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even the, even the douchebag cops like, I don't want none of this. <laughs> Yet today accept daily bread. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, good cake. Oh my god, this is really good cake. I think it needs more more um more milk. You know, I made a nice cake for everyone and no one uh, appreciates it. I made cake. <laughs> I still love that. Dude, just look at him like, what the fuck? And he just I made cake. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> made cake. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so we all, uh, have we all seen the story about the fucking dude in England who, um, Three months? Three months. It's three months, right? Who, who, for his, like, thesis for university, masturbated to, like, underage boy anime? It's got a, it's got a name. What, some of these, one of these weebs is gonna put the fucking name in chat, too. It's got a fucking name. It's underage boy porn. Um... There it is. Told you. Told you it was going to happen. Told you it was going to happen. I fucking told you it was going to happen. It's Shota, apparently. Um, um, so, yeah, this dude's, like, apparently, like, part of his, um, Caboose, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Apparently, part of his like thesis was uh, part of part of the experiment was masturbating to Shota porn for three months, and he documented everything, and it made it past the um, the ethics board investigation. So, apparently, whatever whatever he's doing is 
scientifically like sound because it made it past his, the like multiple ethics board investigations. So whatever the fuck he's up to, the ethics the ethics committee has passed on it multiple times. It's this isn't like there's another review and because of the heat he's probably gonna have to. It, Tina, I, we don't know. All we know, uh, Viva, apparently he's keeping um, very detailed records. So possibly. Like maybe even. Yeah, like possibly. He's keeping very detailed records, apparently. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time an ethics board person was themselves a degenerate. Uh, Axel, though, apparently it's like come under committee review. Like it. Yeah, he's he's put it before committee. <sighs> but we'll see. <laughs> Meticulous records. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It, it made international news. This dude's like writing a fucking paper on on uh, masturbating to underage anime porn. Um, I I frankly I want to know what his findings are. Because apparently, like, he never, like, he was, apparently, like, this is, I want to know what his findings are. What is, what happens to somebody who all of a sudden starts viewing a large amount of this content, right? What are, what are his findings going to be? I, 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 yeah, I'm actually now interested. Like, I want to know what, what, what exactly was the, the proposal? What was the, the proposed thesis? What, what exactly are you researching? Right? Like, what is it you're trying to figure out? Tumblr has come to life once again. Breaking your brain to earn your degree, any percent run. <laughs> Amherst, is there a link? I'm interested in looking at news articles about it, but I'm afraid of putting any of those terms into a search engine. <laughs> uh, let me get you the thing. Uh, no, fucking don't limit my search there. Uh, no, I want new. No, nothing. I didn't save it, I don't think. And I'd have to go searching. So you're on your own, Amherst. <laughs> uh. Oh, God damn it. Mm. Gallbladder is irritated. I recommend we remove it. Will that stop the pain? Yes. And it's not a necessary organ, so you shouldn't have any complications afterwards. Oh, great. Can we do it now? That's the thing. We used to be able to perform- Yeah, it's gonna be just all of the medical procedures, but with uh, abortion pre uh, preload procedures ahead of it. Wellness-related sexual fetishism via anime? I, I, again, I don't know. It's under what the fuck in Discord, apparently. There you go. Um, there you go. Amorous. It's University of Manchester. And of course it was the conservatives who took offense. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> What's it called? Okay, hold on, hold on. It may be published. Where's the article? Yep, that's wait. Um
Okay, so... Oh, if anybody finds the uh, the thesis ahead of time, ahead of me, put the link in. Well, it's not just on masturbation. It's on understanding how individuals experience sexual pleasure when reading Shota specifically. Oh, and it looks like he probably speaks Japanese like just outright oh he's he's literally a Japanese he he's affiliated with the Japanese study division of the University of Manchester's modern languages and cultures yeah he's super into weeb shit all right student theses oh Jesus he's actually got some really interesting papers All right, has it been published yet? Jesus Christ, this guy's a fucking paper machine. This guy's a fucking writer, holy shit. Apparently an accomplished filmmaker, too. This guy's fucking... Decline all. Okay, so there's the DOI. Oh, it's the whole thing. All right, close that. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's his own. Oh, this poor guy. This poor guy. I want to. So, uh, it is the 26th of June. <laughs> There's a YouTube video about it. Okay, so let's go through this. I actually want to. I'm curious. And what does it get under? Sensor, sensory ethnography, sexuality, masturbation, comics, queer studies, Shota, experimental methods, and manga. Experimental methods. I mean, fair enough. I wanted to understand how my research is. This is where I was. I was over here on the Manchester site checking him out like directly. And here's all the stuff. Um, I wanted to understand how my research participants experience sexual pleasure when reading Shota, a Japanese, a Japanese genre of self-published erotic uh, comics that features young boy characters. I therefore started reading the comics in the same way as my research participants had told me they did it while masturbating. In this research note, I will recount how I set up an experimental method of masturbating to Shota comics and how this participant obser uh, observation of my own desire not only gave me a more embodied understanding of the topic for my research, but also made me think about loneliness and ways to combat it as driving forces of the culture of self-published erotic comic. Right. Yes, we've been very clear about this. It's 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 underage boys. I very, the very top of this. I Yes, Shota is it's 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 the male equivalent of Lolly. I had hit a wall in my research. Semi-structured interviews can only take you so far, especially when the topic is sensitive, which mine is. Even these statements are sourced. Jesus Christ. Short introduction is called for before we move on. Shota, Shota or Shotokan is a Japanese genre of comics and illustrations that feature young boy characters in cute or most often sexually explicit ways. The genre emerged in an amateur culture of self-published comics, doujinshi, in Japan in the 80s, which is centered around huge conventions that have come to attract hundreds of thousands of participants. Cited, Shota uh, was first an offspring of the male homoerotic genre yoe, uh, which is read and, uh, read and produced mainly by women. Male readers discovered Shota through Lollicon, a genre that features young girl characters in a sexually explicit way, yet other male readers position themselves against Lollicon reading Shota fans. Jesus Christ, there's even a fucking in-group fight on this one. 
This complicated mix of male and female producers and consumers of Shoto is reflected in many subgenres, differing in style, theme of the ages and characters, and explicit of the sex, as well as the reader's views on how or well, uh, on whether or how a sexual desire for fictional boys is connected to sexual attraction to actual children. <laughs> Untangling this largely unresearched knot of desires for fictional boy character will give us a better understanding of human sexuality and provide a more solid basis for policy making. Okay, so he's been asking, he's been doing the research into it, but again, semi structures, semi structured interviews, and all of that. What I needed was a method that could remove the separation of mind and body. Again, cited. So give me an embodied understanding of my topic. The solution had been there all along, printed in plain language in the interviews. I'd just not seen it so clearly, because no matter how my research participants take on show to differed in terms of favorite theme, preferred age, style, or characters, how they related their own selves to the story and so on, they had one thing in common. Almost all of them said that they masturbated to the show to material. I tried to inquire about the details of these masturbation sessions, but it was hard to know what to ask. And the conversation uh, sometimes stalled. In addition, it would have been impossible for me to grasp how the intellectual reasoning, for example, of entering an alternative past was connected to the bodily sensation of masturbation without me doing it. According, uh, Audrey Lord, uh, 1997, has written, the erotic cannot be felt secondhand. Indeed, so I realized that my body was equipped with a research tool of its own that could give me quite literally a first-hand understanding. Holy shit. Uh, Beard, this is actually really kind of insightful scientific processes into things that we don't want to understand. This is, this is, this is, this is the problem with society. We could minimize the rape and abuse of children. Um, if we weren't so squeamish about pedophilia, if we didn't have such a visceral reaction, we might actually be able to engage our logical processes. Um, we might actually be able to come to terms with it and address it and deal with it um, rather than the, the sort of animalistic outcry that we have. It's the whole point of the justice system originally, by the way, was to be cold and calculated, whereas human beings are fiery and in the minute. So he actually did it for academic purpose. It seems like he actually did. And Viva, looking at like his his accomplishments as a PhD researcher, a uh, PhD student, um, I gotta say he's he's not he's not bad. Like he's he's well published. He's worked on good projects. It, it's he's got awards to his name. I mean he's he's respected within this. Like. Rabbit, we're I'm going through the fuck. I have it. We're going through it. I wanted to see his methodology. I want to see it. What did he do? It's fascinating to me. He's he's well accomplished within the research field, within his field at least. He's you know he knows how to put a presentation together too. So yeah, we're reading the methodology. Yeah, I know, right, Caboose? <sighs> Jesus, that was... <sighs> All right. For a period of three months, I would masturbate only to show to comics. Jesus Christ. For this purpose, I would use Dojin Shi and commercial volumes that I, that ha I have bought or been given during field work in Japan. In short... I would masturbate in the same way that my research participants did. After each masturbation session, I would write down my thoughts and feelings, a, a kind of critical self-reflection in a notebook, as, as well as details about which material I'd used, where I'd done it, what time, and for how long. I would not be allowed to have any other sexual relief during this field work in my own sexuality. No regular porn, no sex with another person, no fantasies or memories. It had to be showed at every time. Jesus Christ, this is a fucking... This is an exercise in brainwashing yourself into a pedophile, it seems like. Fanfics and comic form. Thank you, Beast. Um, I happened to live alone during this experiment, and I had newly become single after a long relationship. These factors probably contributed, uh, contributed to my willingness and eagerness to explore this method. Where are your major critiques, Rabbit? 
Um. Okay. Wait. Among fans of Shota and other subcultural comic genres in Japan. Oh, lovely rabbit. Good to know. So he leveraged in his... Can we verify that? Because that's a heavy accusation. Well, I'm glad I wasn't airing. No, Rabbit, we we don't need to. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just pull that. I just looked at it. Uh, Rabbit, why are you well familiar with his work? Is my question. Now that we're now that it's gotten weird, Rabbit, why are you so familiar with it, Rabbit? Because that's my first hearing about it. Mm. That was, uh, I'm just continuing to read some of his journal. Ah, uh, oh, uh, rabbit. No, see, I rabbit. I think you're biased. I'll say that right out outright rabbit. I think you're biased. Um, yeah, I think you're biased as an academic. I don't think you realize what kind of usefulness this is to people who don't dabble in this arena. Yeah, I, I honestly, this is super interesting to read. Yeah, I, I, I think I think a hundred percent your academic bias is showing, Rabbit. I think you you haven't spent enough time as a as a common person. You're speaking from the ivory tower to get, ivory towers again, Rabbit. Um, this is fascinating to read. This is insight that I'm is difficult to get your hands on. You're looking at it as like a peer reviewed paper and shit. I'm looking at it as the writings of somebody whose insight that I, I, I rarely get to see. See what you mean about the paper though i do get that though i just hit the end of it that's a. Uh, I mean god i i sympathize rabbit on the paper the, the the at least the qualitative research section of it i haven't read anything past that um yeah again rabbit yeah i get that but it's not it literally says, like, the, Rabbit, the title of the, the qualitative research paper is called I Am Not Alone. I mean... <laughs> I, 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 I don't... He's pretty upfront about it, actually. It, literally the very first words 
I am not alone. Qualitative research. I am not alone. Using masturbation as an ethnographic method in research on Shota subculture in Japan. Wait, who are we dealing with? Yep, Playboy. Oh, I mean, fuck. Blue Lagoon, baby. Blue Lagoon. I mean, Rabbit, I, I kind of say that he did. But anyway. um, But yeah, the, the Destroyer Magazine thing, Rabbit. We, we, we. Mm. I think that's a misapplication of the word grooming. That paper isn't targeted at children and you know it. Grooming groomers maybe, but that's that doesn't hold to the, the common contextual understanding of grooming being an adult and a child. That's an adult to an adult. Do we groom adults? Is that actually, do, does anybody, I don't use the word that way. <sighs> uh, no, Che, it doesn't sound like he broke uh, UK law at all for his research. He's grooming doctoral candidates. I suppose cults groom adults sometimes? I yeah, it just just doesn't feel like an honest use of the word, frankly. Manipulative is perfectly fine, but grooming is I think we reserve that for kids, maybe? I don't know. I do. Uh I suppose if you want to use it prescriptively, that's fine, but uh, yeah, it, a lot. Nobody, nobody outside of the fucking academics, I can tell you, uses that word that way then, because modern society, you groom a child, you don't groom an adult. But hey, good to know, prescriptively speaking, at least. Um... Oh, well, that's bullshit law. It's a bullshit law. Uh, let's see. Let's check us. Jesus. 2008 to present. Uh, it's been tried multiple times. It usually ends up in an unconstitutionally overbroad. Somebody tried to get the Simpsons under this as well. Yeah, there's only been four cases ever tried in the U.S. over this. And by tried, I mean even attempted. Tried. There's four cases uh, since the 2008 Iowa ruling. Um, and it just... Yeah. They very often never formally charged after arrest, dismissed at trial, found to be unconstitutional. One of them ended up in jail, but he was already on uh, parole. He had conditions of supervision and shit like that. Again, Rabbit, I still find the document highly interesting and valuable. Oh, right, that happens in a lot of them. 
Oh, Tina. Lovely. You people over there have entirely too many restrictions on your speech. Um, I mean, not in its descriptive usage, public, but apparently in its prescriptive usage, it does. Conduct will not likely fall to be prosecuted under the act provided it is consensual, no serious harm is caused, and is not otherwise extricably linked with other criminality, and the likely audience is not under 18. This is the UK I'm speaking about now. This is from the legislation.gov.uk page that non-binary sent to me from that part of the world specifically on this topic. I mean, that's, you know, correct. And there's public con interest considerations. For, for Article 10.1, free, right to freedom of expression. Jurisdiction issues. Oh, Jesus, even handling evidence issues. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think he meets the requirements for for prosecution in the UK. Can't use that to go after him either. They're going to have to twist some definitions to go after him successfully, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, dig. It's a uh, full moon out. Welcome, Alex. Well, Rabbit, you need to out-publish him because he's a publishing maniac, according to the uh, University of Manchester website. Because he 100% has, like, a lot of publications to his name at this point. He's outdoing any criti criticism you have, apparently. And he's making, he he's making headroads, so you better make larger, you better yell louder because he's making headroads. And I'm not a peer reviewer. Not my job. So, yeah, homie's out there fucking making a name for himself and doing it just fine. I don't think they will, Rabbit. I don't think they will. We'll see. We'll revisit this in a year. I don't think they will. Not in the least. So, anyway. Ah. Uh, Oh, do I have my latest? Hold on. 
Where is it? Um, God damn it. I love this. I love the tale of Ezra Miller. I love the Ezra, tale of Ezra Miller. And now, police are unable to locate a mother and her three kids who were staying with Ezra Miller in Vermont. Oh, Alex, it's a spiral into greatness. Don't dare criticize our Lord and Savior Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller is here to save us all. The global reign of terror that is Ezra Miller will cause the system to destabilize. The fractures that have been forming for generations will rupture forth, and the system will fall and collapse because of the chaotic element that is Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller is the actual Flash. Ezra just appears in Vermont, it disappears in Vermont, it appears in Iceland, it disappears in Iceland, it appears in Hawaii, it disappears in Hawaii. Ezra Miller shall bring the true chaos to us all. Uh, Ezra Miller could be behind you right now. Ezra Miller is everywhere all at once, simultaneously. Ezra Miller is omnipresent. Uh. Yeah, oh yeah, Ezra's a fugitive. Beard. Ezra's a fugitive and still filming with Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers confirmed over the summer they, f they shot pickups and they shot completionary scenes and they finished some photography for The Flash. Over the summer, while Ezra was wanted in questioning and Vermont wants them like on charges. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezra Miller is a fucking fugitive from the law and still filming with Ro Warner Brothers and just appearing and disappearing randomly. It's so amazing. I love this story. I love this story. This this is amazing. Ezra Miller's just this like global reign of terror that just a pop just like appears somewhere, smacks a bitch, and then disappears. Like you're like, what the fuck was that? I don't know. Ezra Miller just assaulted someone on the beach. Why? Because Ezra Miller <laughs> is Ezra the Higgs boson. Yes, Flash 2023 coming out. He is the Flash after all. They are the Flash after all. Ezra Miller can run in, run in circles in whatever uh, small cell they end up in. Uh, all I know is that they're madder than Adder in a nut house. Uh, I love Ezra. Ezra Miller 2024. Yes, 100%. Do I like Ezra Miller? I, I, barely, I, don't even, I didn't know who Ezra Miller was prior to this uh, the beginning of this year, frankly, when Ezra Miller kicked the shit out of somebody on like a beach in Hawaii. I had no idea who this fucking person was even, but I am a fan of chaotic humor and it's, it's reached an absurdity point where it's now funny, right? At first it's like, oh shit, you know, a fucking wacky Hollywood star smacked a bitch and shit's happening and you know, like, okay, they're having a breakdown and oh shit, they... They stole an indigenous underage girl and maybe fucking grooming. And they, oh shit, there's an assault and I saw, oh shit, there's a burglary in Vermont. Okay, now it's weird and funny, right? Once it crosses a line of into absurdity where you find out that Warner Brothers is still shooting with them and yet they're still a wanted fugitive, you're like, oh, this is just crazy now. Yeah, when it hits, when it hits the absurdity mark, yeah, I'm down for it. I have two shits about Ezra Miller. I'm here for the joke. The joke is superior. It's delicious. 
As reported by Rolling Stone, Miller has been housing a woman <coughs> uh, they met in uh, uh, Hilo, Hawaii, and her three children on Miller's farm in Stanford, Vermont, since uh, mid-April 2020, uh, 2022. Um, allegations from both anonymous and named sources, as well as the children's father, the gun's name and injuries are accessible to children all ages one to five one year old, and the one-year-old put a boost bullet in her mouth. Eh, that sounds danger. Uh, <laughs> um, this has been weird from the jump. Does Kvass come every time they hear Ezra's name? <laughs> Where does Ezra find all these people? I know, right? Um, yeah, became cartoonish villain. Yeah, exactly, Agony. A hundred percent. Like, it, once you cross into that realm of absurdist humor, I'm a hundred percent there for it. Yeah. Like, I mean, just, you know, the dude in the fucking back of the car licking the fucking, the, the window. These snozberries taste like snozberries, you know? Once you cross into that realm, I'm in. I'm in. Ezra has firmly crossed into that territory at this point, and I'm, I'm here for the ride. I personally hope that Ezra Miller remains escaped and free for a while. I don't care about the crimes. I don't care. There's no moral or ethical. This is literally for the lulls. I hope Ezra Miller remains free on the lam for 20 more years, just smacking random people in airports and just like weird stories about them, like breaking in and stealing a bottle of bourbon from someplace and then just disappearing into the nothingness again. But all the while still continuing to make movies and TV. Like just, just the whole thing. I want, I want full, okay, okay, that's, that's, Jesus Christ, oh, Jesus, is this all of the fuck, oh, we don't need, dude, there's too much information for Ezra Miller to be pumped in the chat like that, non binary, there's too many crimes at this point, it's fucking insane, I call it the fuck it, grab the popcorn moment, but what if more people go missing, somebody just went missing, a black, uh, an indigenous uh, girl just died, a black trans person just died on the streets of Chicago, a migrant just went missing again. Happens like one every second. No concern. No fucking fake moralizing. No cries of out. Uh, what about them? But Ezra Miller. That we need to concern ourselves with. Quit snapping your fingers. You're killing so many people. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I feel like Ezra Miller was involved in a 12 person bar brawl. And I'm like, how? Dude, I love the Ezra Miller headlines. <laughs> how many people? Are, yeah, like how many people are getting. Uh, be realistic. How many people are getting raped right now? Uh. Yeah, you only care. The only reason you give a shit, you moralizing garbage, is because somebody famous is involved. And we're, that's it. Fucking people every day. Every day. He's not on the lamb. He's the flash. He moves too fast for us. <laughs> uh, nine out of ten people enjoy a game. <laughs> yeah. What uh, if more people go missing? More people are guaranteed to go missing. Guaranteed. Can't stop the A train. <laughs> they look like someone would take a stiff breeze to take them down, but apparently they can lift a Buick one-handed or some shit. Yeah, dude. I, I dude. I at this point, I, I I don't give two shits about Ezra Miller, but I love Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller's hilarious to me at this point. And I hope. I hope every time Ezra Mir Miller appears, it's like in classic Ezra Miller form. I want this. I want this. Every time there's an Ezra Miller spotting, I want like this level of makeup or above. I want I want this or above. Yeah, I just clocked Ezra Miller with a baseball bat and they just winked at me. They're a machine. They, beard, they. Public, no problem with the photo. <laughs> like I said, I, I want Ezra to appear like that or beyond every time. Full get up. You're just like, what the fuck? 
Bjork Ezra energy. Ezra Miller shows up and assaults you in full makeup and the teddy he wore, uh, they wore for Playboy. Beast, Ezra Miller is infamously non-binary. <laughs> um, you want to see the whole outfit? Okay, you want to see the whole outfit? Okay, so here's the headshot. Public, public, public. Here's the headshot. Here's the headshot. Are you ready for the whole outfit? Because the whole outfit is hilarious. <laughs> if you're wondering what's on the hands... Oh yes, there's that one. I prefer this one. <laughs> if you're wondering if Ezra is non-binary or not. <laughs> I'd be, oh, I'd be poking at them all night. I'd be just like, cause you know there's some give, it's feathers. There's like give to it. I'd just be Bjork Swan. Yeah, it is. Uh, there you go. Ezra Miller is <laughs> Ezra Miller is infamously non-binary um, and is an agent of chaos sent to disrupt the global system and I am here for it. She's, oh, uh, I saw what you just posted in um, politics, Amherst, the, uh, the, the Trump quote stuff. All right. See, there is a God. He's my little Yiannopoulos there. Uh, mm, Prince vibes were a terrible thing. Real shame they're in shitty movies. Eh. Were they in the, um, were they the one in the, um, um, Justice League Snyder Cut one? Because I like the Snyder Cut. I mean, it's insanely long. But... I did watch it in one setting. What was it four, four and a half, four forty-five, something like that? They were in all of them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were the Flash in that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Public, dude. Public, in exercise in just watching the... Um, the the regular justice league versus the snyder cut like the difference in what a director can do totally worth it just in a sort of like you know film appreciation class sort of way two hours is a challenge four hours is too long fair enough uh boy george reincarnation little bit little bit to say wait is boy george dead <laughs> like, i didn't think so probably justice league theatrical was atrocious it was i i what no aka they're not uh that's so why i was like what um i had to check 
I had the original Justice League and had seen it because um, it, it was. I was told it was bad. I was like, okay, let me see it. And like you said, not hilariously bad, just bad. Um, so I was curious. I wanted to see it. So I had seen the original. Um, and then um, Snyder Cut happened. And people, the, the fanboys were raving. I was like, you know what? Let me see it. It's four and a half hours. And it starts... Like, the tone is different immediately. Like, I, I, legitimately, it was a brilliant exercise in seeing what a director can do with the same material, right? It was so much better. It was so much more satisfying. It made more sense, even if there were still logical, logical inconsistencies because it's a fucking comic book movie. But either way, yeah, it was actually really pleasant to see, like, that sort of, I don't know, exercise. Uh... Off topic, but I will say uh, black outlined eyes for ancient Persian and Egyptian male rulers was pretty sick. Uh, I, guy liner, I totally approve of. Beard. Um. Oh, this is good. This is good. Hold on. Speaking of speaking of uh, uh, comic book shit. Dude, the first one's fucking convoluted and makes no sense, Amorous. Bored! What is wrong with me? You're a sociopathic nerd. Alright, here we go. Bored. What is wrong with me? You're a sociopathic narcissist. It was rhetorical, asshole. And who do you think you are, a psychiatrist? Let's find out. What? Bloody hell. But it, it's billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. No, no. But are wait for you it. Shitting me? Wait for it. Wait for it. Those of you who may or may not have may have not have seen this, if you have if you have seen this, shut your fucking mouth. For those of you who don't know what's coming up, care to wager what Joker's reaction to this is going to be? Because it's an interesting reaction, actually. Shut up, caboose. What is wrong with you? Don't you think I would have done that had I wanted to? Half the fun of our relationship was the mystery. Now I know Batman is just some boring rich asshole with parental issues. That's really reductive. Thanks for ruining the funniest <coughs> thing I had going. Now I don't even feel like torturing him. S sorry, I, I, I thought it might be the kind of thing Harley would do. I don't care about Harley. <coughs> Wayne Tech promised an electric car by this year. I put a deposit down. Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? A lifetime of fun ruined in the moment. And then he's like, oh, that's right. Where's my fucking car, asshole? Oh, yeah, it's 100% an Elon call-out. It's 100% an Elon call-out, if there ever was. What year was that made? Is that line up? Oh, Tina. Oh. Go, go. All right. Okay, 2018, 100% works then. Trip. Uh, Tina, in fact, it is a full moon. Why are you just standing there? Oh, just wait. Just wait.
Is he not in the car? He's not, no one's in the car! No one's in the car! Yo, who did that? Yo! 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 He was in the car! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Oh my god! And that, kids, is how you finesse a cop. Cop goes on power trip. Why is he just standing there? Is he not in the car? He was not the ones in the car! No one's in the car! Yo, he was in the car! He was in the car! The whole time he's banging on the window. Dude's just standing behind him watching him. As soon as he saw his opening, he just fucking slipped in the seat and took his car. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The cop didn't notice when he slipped out the side door. The guy was doing burnouts. The cop fucking walks up, tries to fucking sm smash the fucking window in. And while he's smashing the highly tinted window in, the driver slipped over to the passenger seat, slipped out of the passenger side, went around the back, was standing there with the fucking crowd, watching the cop wail on the fucking window for the next thousand hours. And when the cop finally got the door open, he saw that there was no one in the car, got frustrated, confused, and started walking away. And so the dude who owned the car sat back down in the driver's seat and drove away. Just straight up. Beautiful move. It's a fucking, yeah, 100% a dub. 100% a dub. Fuck that guy. Uh, uh, red, that window was so tinted, there's no, um, there's no breaking that window cleanly. That, that window basically has a uh, is the, the start of a bullet resistant piece of glass. It's got a very thick piece of polymer on the outside. You could smash the shit out of it. It, it just it's going to hold together. <sighs> um, Exol, if he's got a plate on, maybe. I mean, as you do. Um, he was on a podcast. He asked what his last meal on earth would be. He said, I won't, it won't be dog penis. I had a whole plate of dog penis one time. I'm not doing that again. He was talking about, um, he was probably talking about gaebul, which is a Korean word for fi fish eaten in South Korea that translates to penis fish. Um, it wouldn't be balut either. Fried steak. Fried steak. Tina, it's a matter of whether they caught it digitally or not. They, they have called APLs. Automated pl uh, plate, uh, automated, uh, I'm sorry, APRs, automated plate readers. Um, they don't even need to like capture. It's just digital capture. It's optical character recognition, but for plates. Um, and modern police cars in a lot of metro areas have multi-facing cameras um, that automatically scan and pick up the plates around them. So they can just run the vehicles. Yeah. Um, It's not a signal. It's just a camera. Um, yeah. Um, you just, all you do is just fucking pop the license off. It's a big deal.
Yeah, leave them with a description of the fucking car and call it a day. Yeah, it's 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 a it's one of those things. It's a it's a sea slug, the penis fish. Oh, Caboose, everybody's seen this video. I hope everybody's seen this video. I just felt like if we're showing videos of people getting one-ups on uh, on people. And then there's Gooey Duck. For people wondering how you pronounce G-E-O-D-U-C-K, it's pronounced do Gooey Duck. Yeah, of course he outruns a police chopper. He's on a fucking, uh, he's on a bike. Oh, this is a beautiful video, Akka. He he puts he gives these guys a good run. He gives these guys a very good run. Yeah. I love that he says, oh, you think you're fucking funny? Because he knows he can take them on. He knows he can take them on. I know, right, Aka? Good. He's got a hell of a rig here. All right, let's do this. Amorous. When they're bored. Uh, for those, uh, <clears throat> let's just stop this right now. They didn't catch him. Beard, they didn't catch him. No, they don't have his plate. 
He, in fact, did an anonymous, anonymous interview with NBC10 in Philadelphia about this matter. They never caught him, and the police straight up said, quote, it's a shame we weren't we were able to get a hold of him to cite him. So, no to all of that. No, Beard, you don't understand how plates are mounted on bikes, apparently, if you think an overhead camera can catch it. No. You're never touching this guy. He has, what's he rocking? He's rocking a Honda what? It's an RR. Thank you. Yeah, of course he can handle that thing. Yep, it's it's literally a tail that sits over it. You can't even get an angle at this thing. You'd have to be directly behind it to see it. It literally, it's a tail that sticks out like that and the plate's under here. There's, there's like a foot of tail over the license plate. And Ezra goes into the night. Yeah, he just absolutely dis uh, disappeared. Are you retarded, Beard? In Philly, a black woman he stopped and talked to when the police come knocking asked for a description from a man of a man in all leathers and a full motorcycle helmet at night. I didn't see anything. Ain't nobody seen shit. <laughs> My description? Look like Batman. It's such a beautiful thing when he just ditches them. She's on his side. Look at this. She literally says, I like your bike. There's a fucking chopper above blasting him with a fucking spotlight. And the woman pulls up and says, I like your bike. Homie. What's up, Gemma? She knew what he was doing. Anyone with any sense knew what he was doing. This is great. This is great. Oh, oh. I love this part. That sound. That sound. The night I met Ezra. Yeah, Beast, it reminds me of the um, Ducati my neighbor had in Arizona who had it bored out and everything. Just 
gone. You know the helicopter's gone already, right? It's just gone. He's already gotten away. <laughs> they can't keep up. It's over there. They're trying, but they can't. He's moving entirely too fast for them at this point. Oh yeah, Beast, uh, my uh, my neighbor where I lived in Arizona had a uh, Ducati Sport board out. His dad got it for him as a teenager. The copter was gone in the first 20 seconds. The rest of this is for fun. No, Rex, this is a Honda. My neighbor had a Ducati. That's literally his headlight. Beard, Beard, are you okay? Are you drunk? That's literally his headlight. I think we need to, we need to stop watching the video because Beard's getting a little too confused. I heard himself in his confusion. Yeah, Tina, for sure it's bored the fuck out. Um, point is where his mic is catching more wind than bike because uh, he's literally out racing the sound of his own engine. It's a beautiful thing. I, 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 watching bike videos, bike and cop videos are a uh, caboose. Um, you take the cylinder. Okay, so you've got your piston. Okay, you've got your cylinder, right? The piston goes up and down in the cylinder. Uh, you can make the cylinders larger. You can bore them out even further. So you can get more explosive power out of it. It's a very tech, it's, it's technically minded, but also a very skilled uh, uh, mechanical engineer territories type of, uh, type of activity. You need a skilled machinist to do it properly. Uh, Tina, literally millimeters will do insane amounts of power. Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing what you can get when you explode things. <laughs> it's easy, just don't fuck it up. It, precision is required. Precision. It, 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 insane levels of precision, I might add. Uh, <laughs> you could do it with a power drill if you don't care about your bike's long term, like the longevity of your bike. Do it properly. Just do it properly. You can fucking garage hack this, but do it properly. Um, I had a whole bag of chili cheese Fritos and it was supreme. Golf clap. Golf clap. <sighs> More precision than a Russian tank barrel. Uh, Jesus. All right. Uh, let's see. What other videos did I had? Uh, did I have? Blah, blah, blah. Um, the cop getting finessed. Oh, Canada. Canada. What's going on, Canada? Country voice. All I need is a rasp in half an hour. I'll get you some power. Only thing I want to do is make a mag level with some C batteries at the moment. Fair enough. Maybe move some sodas out of the fridge. <laughs> uh... Um, Canada, what's going on up there recently? Canada's getting, like, weirder than they usually are. I don't know if I can show this on fucking air, frankly. I don't think I can. Um. Okay, we'll, we'll go through this. Okay, so here is a perfectly lovely Sikh man attempting to get into his Jeep Rubicon. Um, yes, the Jeep is a crime. I understand that. Please don't lose your mind. Um, here is a dude who runs up and begins slamming his axe into the window of the door. Um, this is where four of them run up and begin attacking um, uh, begin attacking him with their various weapons, uh, machetes and hatchets and atchet, uh, and axes. Um, this is him on the back, on the ground in the back. 
uh, as they continue to beat him, uh, well, maim him, that sort of thing, and then uh, run off. Here is a woman from the community, uh, it, like, who ran up and began helping him. I'm sorry, three. Um, yeah. This Sikh dude was trying to get into his Jeep and a bunch of dudes ran up on him and started attacking him with fucking hatchets and axes and machetes and shit. Um, should be a Land Rover. <laughs> uh, he is alive. Viciously attacked. But like the badass that Sikhs are, he is alive. Um, actually, um, what you can see from the, uh, video cupcake, um, it looks like they may be brown too. It looks like I, it's, it's, it's difficult to tell because there is facial covering going on here for sure. Um, but they don't look white is all I'm saying. Um, so, you know. No, Jay, not Warriors of Odin. Yeah, not not that crew. It doesn't seem like. J Jeep is a crime. Every hairdresser in the USA screamed in pain. Mm, didn't. Look, I love Jeeps. They're just miserable to own. Look, a Jeep is a vehicle with a purpose, right? If I wanted to a daily driver, the Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler is the worst fucking vehicle you could ever purchase. Their ride is garbage, right? But off-roading, trailblazing, fuck, I love a Jeep. I love a Jeep for that shit. Out in the desert in a Jeep, it's amazing. I've rolled Wranglers. They're great. Um, I, I enjoy Jeeps. It's just they're garbage vehicles for most purposes. It's like taking the Lunar Rover out as a daily commute. You're like, why are you using that? It's not built for this at all. I did a water pump on a Jeep about a year ago, says Beast. When the leak was fixed, the pressure started blowing the seals. Uh, the worst, disagree, the worst choice in all cases is a Jeep Comanche. I mean, is that the, like, half-assed one? It's not even, like, the, the, the Cherokee. It's the fucking, like, mini one. If that is the one I'm thinking of, then <gasps> what's the what's the other Jeep? Patriot? Is it Jeep Patriot? It's Patriot that I'm thinking of. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Drop off. Uh It was the Jeep's attempt at an off-road capable pickup. Well, they failed miserably. The thing is garbage. Uh, <laughs> TJs are cool. They're fine. Broncos are cool. Fucking, you know, old school Broncos. Like the OJ era of Broncos. Um... I had one of those black on black. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, those things are monsters. Dude, uh, it's difficult to kill a, uh, a Bronco. It's in that kit territory of like a Hilux. Yeah, it's like Toyota Hilux and Broncos are sort of, you know, in that echelon of good luck killing them. <sighs> Tina, all those old vehicles, the gas mileage is atrocious. It just is. But they will never die. Doesn't matter. Well, um, what do you mean we have a ban on foreign pickups? We literally sell, let's see. Ah, 
left it in the house, motherfucker. Um, is this even is this Audi pickup even developed yet? Like I know it was in development. Yeah, it, we can't even, dude. Uh, twenty twenty three Audi pickup trucks. Like we're not even know if it's off the production line yet. Yeah, think about all the pickup trucks you see. I see a shit ton of fucking. I mean, do you, you mean like foreign constructed? Because, I mean, Toyota, yeah, like, yeah, we just build them here. Well, that's a specificity that matters. Yeah, they're manufactured domestically. Hey, Wither. How about Nissan? Why would we want a BM pick BMW pickup in the first place is the question. Who would want a BMW pickup truck? And also, the BMW pickup truck is a rumor. Like, it the, the X7 official was a one-off. Like the 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 X7 rendering was a uh, was a like a one-off. Like there's there's no like what BMW pickup truck. Got a Dodge Sport back in 08. I miss it. Unimog all the way. Uh, I mean, that is straight up a, a thing out of Top Gear as to why British people don't have pickup trucks. It's be, not because of the size that you couldn't keep anything in the back of the pickup truck without any of you people stealing it all. What BMW pickup truck? What are you talking about, Beard? What BMW pickup truck? Who has parts for a BMW pickup truck? What BMW pickup truck? Uh, Kai, every person in America just got a BMW pickup truck except you. I'm sorry. Oh, that G-Wagon is awful. God, it's awful. $100,000 for that thing. Uh, there's no such thing as a BMW pickup truck, and you're rambling on about a BMW pickup truck. BMW pickup compensation. I'm in my BMW pickup right now. Uh, you want to know what I really love about my F-250? What? What do you love about your F-250? I prefer my Toyota Highlander, quite frankly, but I don't need to haul anything at present. That would, you know. So, who else got their Cybertruck? No one? I, I'm just of the mind that Beard is apparently drunk tonight because fucking wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I'm just waiting for the Kia boys to come take my mom's shit. BMW pickup truck, one day sale, 90% off, 1999. Uh, so there's a joke around my area where you get your wheel stolen if you park up, so it doesn't happen though. 
Uh, y'all should get one. 155 square feet of cab on this thing. I'll say one thing. BMW loves their legroom. Oh, Tina, if you fucking show me a vehicle that's like clearly, you know, fucking pavement princess shit. Mm. Compensation voted best pickup of 2022. I have only one bar of reception. For some reason, does that count? Yeah, no, it's all renders and designs and shit. This shit is just like, it's fucking vaporware. If you go to 2022 and look at it, they're still talking about it. It's vaporware. It doesn't exist. It's almost impossible to predict how much the model is going to cost. We're, uh, uh, well, nothing is official yet. BMW could enter the pickup truck segment in the next two or three years, written in 2022. And yet you continued with it for ages. The Audi pickup truck isn't out either. The Audi pickup truck is 2024 and still doesn't have an initial, initial name and it's a prototype class still. And it's still in the rendering phase. Holy shit. Beard, just stop talking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not opening that. Aldi making pickup trucks now? Now that'd be a thing. Are people actually trying to drive artist renderings around? Lifted El Camino or Ranchero, lifelong dream. I mean, I think it's ugly, but it's a, definitely a look. Uh, Wolf, not only have uh, I seen the Lambo off-roader, my neighbor right around the corner has one. Um, Yes. It's it's as dumb and ugly as you uh, um you think it, it it might be. Yes. Um yeah, not only have I seen it, I've seen it. I've been up close, I've been in it. It's my neighbor has one. Yeah. Yes, I live in one of those types of places. Um <laughs> Ugh. You do realize that dumping blast smoke is an inefficient engine process and that you're just showing that you really don't understand vehicles when you do that? Like, wh why would you want un unburned fuel to be vented out of your exhaust? Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just... Congratulations, you have an inefficient engine. Woo! Wow, you're showing those liberals. It's called being a man. Is that what it takes to be a man? Congratulations, trans community. Uh, if you're looking to go from female to male, all you need to do is get an F-150 and tune the engine so it has poor performance and inefficient fuel burn, and you too can be considered a man. Congratulations. It's all it takes, apparently. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Hey, I have it on good authority that that's all it takes to be a man is to roll coal. So, get at it. Pass my emissions test with flying colors. Do I need to get the truck nuts or is that strictly assist thing, Sazaka? Yes, uh, if you have truck nuts, you've um, you've had uh, you've uh, had gender affirming surgery on your truck. Just FYI, any truck with nuts did not come with those nuts on the truck. More than likely from manufacturer. So let me guess, those truck nuts were artificially put onto that uh, that truck, making it a gender affirming procedure. Thus, anybody with truck nuts, guess what? You drive a trans truck. Just FYI.
Uh, well, no, they're not that bad. We make some really, really, really good off-road uh, uh, off vehicles. Why are you going to be such a little hater? Why well, got to be such an easy target? Stop stop making yourself such an easy target to pick on then. Why 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 are you beating, beating your own self up? You're doing it to yourself. I mean, you're just inviting the bullying. Right? We should bring bullying back, right? Like that's what your team is all about. It's what your type is about. It's people need to toughen up, be real men. Why can't you take this? Why, why are you such a little bitch about it? Why can't you just man up? Nut up, bro. It's a poorly tuned vehicle. Your engine is literally uh, fucking not burning fuel correctly. <laughs> it's the sort of thing that like somebody like Carol Shelby would look at you and fucking roll his eyes. Carol Shelby would take one look at that engine, see you blowing fucking smoke out the top, and be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Tune your engine correctly. Like, the real fucking people in, in racing would be like, what's going on? Why is his engine performing so poorly? He did that intentionally? Doesn't he know he could get more horsepower out of it? He could get more foot pounds of torque out of it if he tuned it correctly? So he's intentionally making his vehicle weaker for the aesthetic of it interesting so you're more you're more concerned with with form over function right you're not concerned with how your vehicle performs you're vi you're more concerned with how your vehicle's dressed if it if it looks pretty then it's performing but if it actually lives up to its masculine qualities and does its job like a man no you need to tune that Looks tough. Oh, so it's like a pillow princess. Big fucking dude, masculine. You see him out at the fucking club. Dude's fucking ripped. He's got his fucking leather harness on. You get him back to the fucking house and he's like, stick it in me, daddy. <laughs> Your truck is a pillow princess. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> it's them showy muscles. <laughs> All bark, no horsepower. Uh, I mean, it is showing its exhaust. Just saying. <laughs> Looks tough is inherently meaningless, says Kvass. Oh. <laughs> I'll cut no cock. So it's good for running over kids, Saka. <laughs> I'm so tempted to get my license and make an electric Land Rover Defender. Actually, that, you know, Wolf, that's not a terrible idea, actually. Um, you see, the strat is actually to get a big, strong car guy to fix it for him, says Wither. Oh, is that what you're here for? Are you looking for a real man to fix your truck for you? So we got a few car guys in chat. Like, we could, we could, get, we could get Beast on an airplane down there to retune your engine for you. And... Like, we could get that fixed for you. If that's what you're after, you're after a real man to fix your car for you. We can hook you up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Tina, I mean, I could do it, but I'm not a man. Tina, probably more than a man than you. <laughs> When you're relying on your truck to blow smoke out of its fucking exhaust to to increase your sense of masculinity, Gina, you're probably more of a man at that point. <laughs> uh, Max, uh, I did. I, I watched part. I, I watched part of it. <laughs> Gay Texas. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, Max, a lot of it was very prescient. I drive a Toyota Stone. I've got one of the longest living vehicles that the market makes. So if you're going to come at me with an F-250, F-150 and be like, well, mine will still be running when all of your stuff. I drive a Toyota, bro. Mine will run past the apocalypse. 
Should more leftists own firearms? I personally think it should be encouraged, not discouraged. Legend Maker, hi. Uh, my name's Kai. Uh, largely, we're an anarchist community. Um, yes, pro gun ownership across the board. Um, I think uh, everybody should have guns except cops. Um, and I think there should be like a free gun program for like black trans sex workers. There you go. Um, Oh, look at him. Oh. He's he's literally look at him look at him flail. Look at him flail. Now he's fucking talking shit about Japanese motors. <laughs> Next he'll be telling us Japanese swords are notoriously questionable uh, uh questionable um uh, quality as well. Mm -hmm. And American made firearms are garbage as well. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Did you hear? Uh, German engineering is the worst that you can you can get in a in, in the world. Yeah, for sure. Some of the worst food is in Italy too. Yeah, notoriously bad food in Italy. <sighs> <sighs> Fucking dummy. Fix. Fucked on race day. Found on roadside dead. Like how many, how many, how many, how many Ford, ac uh, please, how many Ford and acronyms can we, I'm uh, um, sorry, yeah, yeah, it would be an acronym. How many Ford acronyms do we happen to know? Right? Like that's literally, it's one of the dumbest fucking brands in existence. Fix or repair daily, found on road dead, fucked off Rocky Dick, uh, fucked over rebuilt Dodge. Fucker only runs downhill. <laughs> Fix it again, Tony. That's fi that's a Fiat Dale. Uh, <laughs> bro, stop talking about cars and whip out those tallywhackers. I mean, I wish I could show you my current piercing. I could show you my uh, uh, the next piercing. Right? I can't show you my tallywhacker on stream, unfortunately. But, like, you know, I got no problem getting naked in front of people and shit. Uh, I can show you the next uh, the next piercing that's going in, I suppose, if that's of any interest to you. Um, I drive a fjord. <laughs> oh. Showing us a piercing you don't have. Now that is a neat trick. <laughs> it's the next one going in, rabbit. There you go. And if you're curious, yes, it's size appropriate for the end of my deck. Did I just get off my shift at UPS? Oh, Pookie, you're gonna try and poke that one? Mm, that always goes over well for people here in this channel when they try that one. Mm. I'll, I'll give you one heads up. You probably don't want a job compare with me. Uh, still going from the German mom and pop shop. Che, the one I have in me right now, I fucking got from an American uh, maker and it took 79 days to get it to me over the weekend. Yeah, I'm never, I'm never leaving the German shop again. Never. Max, it took me, I, uh, I, it took me a lot of, I, it was last year before I got my fucking, uh, my, my second piercing. I had a friend with one of those. <laughs> well, I have a friend, I guess. I haven't talked to him in a while, says Rabbit. Hey, Cappy. Stone. I'm retired. 
you're still working. I'm retired. I told you you didn't want to do this, man. I told you you didn't want to do this. Hi, my name's Kai Sto uh, Stone Daff. My mom put me in front of a mainframe terminal at age four. By age 14, I was doing custom programming. By 25, I was running an independent IT consultancy here in Las Vegas, service, uh, serv uh, servicing $25 million up uh, and up clients, uh, uh, gross clients type. Yeah. Homie, this isn't something you want to do. Like what? Like... This doesn't make me more of a man or you less of a man. This doesn't accomplish anything. This does nothing. This isn't a metric to compare people by. But if you insist on comparing, then when you have to do anything for work whatsoever, think of me. Because I'll be sleeping into whenever I feel like sleeping in tomorrow, doing a stream, and then getting stoned with my community and spending the night watching bad movies. And then I'll be getting uh, uh, my twice weekly massage from my massage guy right on saturday because i have tuesdays and thursday uh tuesdays and saturdays massages because you do have a regular massage every week right because i mean who makes a lot of money and doesn't get a daily uh, get like a weekly massage what the fuck is wrong with you right um so then i'll probably cap that off with like i don't know like a bison ribeye or something that night i tend to like you know like to indulge a little over the weekend so you know, oh, are you one of those pussies that can't handle a real massage? Stone Def, oh man, you had me until you said massage guy. Oh, are you one of those pussies who can't ha handle a proper real massage? It's bison, dummy. You, never mind, nouveau riche. I forget, I often forget those who grew up not, well, with access to things, don't exactly understand the nuances. You think there's a why you, okay, that's adorable. It's bison. Not, not beef. Entirely different, entirely different animal. Just so you know, Pookie. I like, I like bison as my staple. That's my beef. Um, and then I like wild hunted animal on top of that. I prefer, you know, far, uh, um, organically raised like small batch uh, duck fat, but you better give me a Nordic Viking massage therapist. Motherfucker should be trying to dislocate a rib says, uh, says rabbit. Um, homie, you want a dick measure with somebody? That's fine. Go dick. Go dick measure. Um, uh, Max, I know, right? That's why. Uh, that's why I got. Uh, you gotta get a dude. You gotta get a fucking rip, dude, for it. Speaking of Kai's guys, have you been back to your tea guy? I'm still not entirely convinced that wasn't because I'm kind of otherworldly shot briefly invading a reality. Gemma, I think it was too. Ethos, Kai, you're hilarious. Thank you, Ethos. Um. Oh, stone. No, it's a hundred percent. It's a mass issue. Um, you, you can get, I mean, I've had a decent, um, uh, massage by a female bodybuilder before. It's a mass issue. It just is. It's a mechanics issue. You need a lot of muscle mass to throw into it. Yeah. You need like an, I, like I said, I've had a, I've had a, a female bodybuilder give me a massage before. She was a former, uh, bodybuilder who had turned massage, ther a sports therapist. Um, she gave a great fucking massage. Um, Slavic dude. Uh, was probably one of the best massage therapists I ever had. He was fucking jacked. Just jacked. Right? One of the best dudes. Yeah, it's a mass issue. Just is. Oh, and come at me with sexism. Fuck off. Homie, you're grasping at straws. You've lost this 13 miles back, and we all knew it when you walked in and tried to dick measure with me, and it was hilarious. So sit down, shut the fuck up, get to the back of the classroom where you belong, you fuck off. And that's about it. Anyway, uh, last masseuse who was worth anything had a grip like she was trying to bend rebar, says Rabbit. I'd sell all four limbs to date a muscle lady. You got nervous for a second? You know you did? Fuck women, fuck gay people, fuck, I don't know, fuck the left, fuck the right, fuck, uh, fuck handicapped people, fuck, um... You know, whatever. Yes, very nervous. Very nervous. Very nervous. Uh, you probably should have heard some of the jokes I've told on this channel before, and then you'd realize that I'm not that nervous. But anyway. Um, imagine spending your time trying to troll someone you don't even know to get a fucking friend, bro. We're all friends here. 
I, I never understand why they try and come in and do the dick measuring thing. It's like people's lives are so minuscule, I guess. The, you know, lives of quiet desperation, right? When you're comparing your, yourself to people uh, because of your salary, right? Imagine being so bereft of an actual life that the, the topic on the tip of your tongue is rolling coal is good plus I make a lot of money. Whoa, what a conversationalist. I mean, Jesus Christ, you must be just bucket full of fun to hang out with over the summer. Mm, I can imagine those those wistful summer nights spent out at the lakeside with you where you're you're rambling on about your newest pay raise or the newest way you've tuned your engine to annoy Democrats apparently. You're boring, bro. You're like the worst kind of person. Honestly, you're worse than fucking like people who actually murder people. I'm not kidding you. You're actually worse than people who murder people. Because if you murdered me, at least I'd just be gone, right? I have to put up with you. You're literally worse than a murderer. Because you've invaded reality. You exist. Now I have to know that you breathe. Great. Anyway. Even worse, he breeds. My son is a real man. He's a trucker and just saved an injured goose from the truck yard. What a nice guy he is. Tina, that is, a, that is the mark of you, you, ra you raised them right, Tina. When, when big men care, uh, care about small animals, you know they, had, they were raised right. I mean, this chat has one rule that basically sums up all the others. Don't be boring. Yeah. I think he's FedEx and he's salty about UPS union contracts. I mean, that is true, right? Like, I mean, what are you doing insulting UPS like that, right? Uh, hold on. Beast, I responded to your DM. Right? Like, UPS people are good. They're hardworking. They're fucking upstanding people. Why are you trying to shit on UPS people? Why is that your go-to? They're like, hey, look at the fucking menial worker. I bet you're a fucking menial worker. Fuck menial workers. They're less than me. And Union, what's up? <laughs> I know, right, Gemma? Um... Yeah, that's like a garbage human in position. That's how I know somebody's a garbage human, right? They pull some shit like that. Uh, oh, and the last refuge. It's just a joke, bro. The last refuge. It's just a joke. Uh, so I'm more of a person with socialist ideals, but I have real questions about using complete anarchism to achieve a better system of government. Okay, uh, Med, uh, Legend Maker, if you want to come on the air and actually uh, have a conversation, I'd love. I'll have a conversation with you. No problem about this. We'll do. We'll do one on one if you need it. Um, there's there's issues like complete anarchism that like need explaining further and stuff like that. Don't think for a second how I'm treating this idiot. This is how I treat people. I need to educate about anarchism. <laughs> this is just nonsense. Um, but yeah, if you want to actually come on the air and have that conversation, by all means. But we can cover it in chat if you're not the talky type. Um, but uh, the issue with like complete anarchism. It's not, okay, I'm going to put a thing in chat for you. Um, here's the sort of like the channel definition of anarchism, and we'll start there. Um, Legend Maker, and we'll move on from there. Um, <laughs> my grandpa was a real man. He fought to protect his neighborhood from British air raids. <laughs> Gluttonous, solid work.
Nah, Che, that feels right. <gasps> Ambrus! Are you going the route I think you are? Um, oh, and, um, there you go, um, Legend Maker, there's the Discord link in case you need it. <laughs> Max. <laughs> like a reserve anarchist. <laughs> I love that, Max. I actually love that. Uh, I've come to confess I was the second gun gunman on the grassy knolls as Victor Spade 89. Victor? I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it was you. I knew it was you the entire time. There wasn't a moment where you got away with it. I want you to know I knew it was you the whole fucking time. Okay? Now, fuck the feds. I'm not going to turn you in because I ain't no fucking narc bitch, right? But, but, don't do it again. Okay? Don't do it again. So how you feeling about them boosters? I'm fine. How you feeling? Okay, no worries. Um, no worries, Legend. We can 100% we can work with that. Okay, so above Legend... Um, there's no such thing as like a uh, utopic anarchism. There's no such thing as complete anarchism. Anarchism is a network of ideas in the words of Emma Goldman. We much prefer it that way, right? It, there's no like uh, moment for anarchism. There's no like, okay, so here's, here's the deal. If I got a group of a hundred people together and I taught them anarchistic methods of organization, uh, consensus decision-making, uh, you know, um, um, power dynamic analysis, um, sort of like a topological setup for their society, that sort of thing, gave them all the anarchist, uh, tools, right? If I gave them all of the tools, right. And walked out the door, I can't predict what's going to happen in that room. Because the fundamentals of anarchism dictate that those are individual autonomous people, right? I don't know what they're going to do in their consensus decision-making process. I can tell you now that they're anarchistically motivated, chances are that they're going to do something very uh, distributed. They're going to do something that uh, has a high level of equality and equity uh, contained within it. But beyond that, I can't do any prediction, right? Because... What do two people do when they get up and to, with each other and they decide what they're going to do, right? So I can't know if they're going to go like a syndicalist route. I can't know if they're going to go like a socialist, communist, commune route. I don't know if they're going to go prim route. Um, so like all viable alternatives, right? So for me, I'm an anarchist first and foremost. Uh, you know, I am prime anarchist, right? Anarchist prime. Um, so... Fundamentally, what I'm about is the education and spreading of anarchist ideals, tools, and techniques, and methodologies, analyses, that sort of thing, right? So there's no such thing as, like, complete anarchism, um, and there's varying degrees. So what do anarchists get up to? Well, a variety of things. We tend to feed people. Uh, anarchists are big into feeding people, um, but also we tend to do supply lines. We tend to do uh, manufacturing. In the case of Spain during the Civil War, 50% of industry and uh, agriculture was produced by anarchists, anarchistic communes, right? Um, we do internet, uh, tr Trumbleplex, coding, open source uh, software. We do libraries. We do media and event spaces. We do underground railroad type stuff. We do DIY hormones for the trans people. We do a whole host of stuff um, that, you know, we can apply to. We do housing. I mean, ugh, God. <laughs> rabbit. Uh, rabbit. Uh, what if their choice is to brutally overthrow uh, yourself, their, their neighbor, then I kill them. I try to compromise beard, but if they come at me with violence in authoritative, in an authoritative manner, attempting to use force to, to, uh, to apply their, uh, their will on me without my consent, then yeah, that's a violent action. And I put them down. Simple as that. You've failed to uphold the, the, the basics, basic tenets. You've been, you've been coercive. You've been authoritarian. You've been forceful. It's that simple. 
the individual and the society both have the right to self-defense. And if your wish is to violently overthrow me, then yeah, done. <laughs> your freedom ends at the limit of other people's freedom. Force can be met with force. It's that simple. It always has been. It always will be. Well, what do you do if they attack you? You attack back. The fuck you think self-defense is? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't take my. I don't take my ethical framework advice from the Bibble. Sorry. Ah, oh, you should see what Anarchist Prime changes into during battle. <laughs> How old am I? Yours makes no difference. Forty. <laughs> we ain't no Buddhist monk pansies. The Bibble. <laughs> Rabbits. <laughs> oh. That brook is pornographic. It is. Is it a soup kitchen? <laughs> Fucking, I fucking mid battle. You come at me, you throw a fist, and all of a sudden you just hear in the background. And all of a sudden there's a soup kitchen there. Uh, Christian anarchy is the funniest shit. No, uh, Wolf, Catholic anarchism is the funniest shit. Fucking thinking that you can have middlemen with God. And still be an anarchist. Ugh. <laughs> Rabbit. Uh. Fighting foodons. You should look up the opening to get the idea. It'll be funny. All right. All right. It's going to be some weeb shit. I know it's going to be some weeb shit. It's always some weeb shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just want the opening. I just want intro. Of course you did, Carl. Carefully select your recipes. Eat so we'll attack with gooey cheese. Power up the fried rice with some heat. Cilantro, good. Italian or Chinese. If anything's left over, you can freeze. So keep your itching for a brawl to start a kitchen free for all. When your monster takes a fall, whip up a little matzo ball. Fighting food of pseudo food of demon shoot. Fighting food of it's red food with attitude. Okay, well, there's more weeb shit. <laughs> yeah. Cilantro, good. Uh. Ramsey, that's why you're that's why you belong in Europe Stan. That's how I know you're one of those Europe Stanians. Fucking uh you got that you got that fucking like genetic disorder. It's fucking it's a mutation in European gene sets that breaks your fucking brain and makes uh cilantro taste like soap instead of the delicious herb that it is and belongs in everything because it's an amazing herb. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 how you know Europeans are inferior. <laughs> they got that gene kicking around over there. <laughs> Kai's character idea, the bisonator. Because <laughs> cilantro is beautiful and eugenics had some points. 
and pickled herring taste good to y'all. Mm. <laughs> That's your view on electoral politics. Shitty, I imagine. I would agree. I mean, down ticket voting, legend maker, the stuff that affect. Okay, so legend, uh, I don't know if you're in the U.S. We refer to down ticket voting in the U.S. as like, okay, we order our ballots from federal to s biggest to smallest. So federal, state, and then the local down at the bottom, right? So when an American says down ticket voting, what we're talking about is like your your mayor, your superintendent for schools, the judges in your area, that sort of thing. That's what we ref what we mean when we talk about down ticket voting. San Antonio, Texas. All right, then legend, you know our vernacular. Um, down ticket voting is important. Up ticket voting is do it if it makes you feel good. Just take the fucking day and go vote for the guy who's the least fascist, I suppose. Um, and then go do some shit that matters. That's about it. Oh, uh, do I ever eat Sir Uh, no, I, I'm good on that. Yeah, Sir Strumming is, it's, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need that in my life. Um... Oh, yeah, no, I've seen Bug Snacks. Yeah. Yeah, it's super creepy. It's actually really fucking weird, Bax. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, because there's no uh, there's no way to secure electronic voting. Do we need to watch the Tom Scott video for the, like, billionth time? Yeah. Five years ago, I made a video for a channel called Computerphile about why electronic voting is a bad idea. Yes, it and is. And I still Aka. get emails occasionally asking, things must have changed by now, right? There's this new idea and maybe it'll help. Surely electronic voting is, is just around the corner. No, no, it's, it's really not. Here is why electronic voting is still a bad idea. Go watch it. It's your own responsibility. I'm not going to play the whole thing for you. Go watch it. Uh, uh, che, yes. So, uh, well, okay. So Che in America, as you should, um, coriander is the seed. Cilantro is the leaf. We understand it to be the coriander plant, but it is the cilantro. Uh, uh, cilantro is the herb that comes from the plant. So, yeah, that's just the way it works. Uh, so, yeah, if you wanted to buy, like, coriander seed... In the story, it'd be called coriander, which is the same plant, but it would be the seed that you grind up that's got the lemony uh, n note to it. Um, but if you buy the, the fresh green herb, it'll be called cilantro. As God intended. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Beast? What? What am I looking at? Where am I looking, beast? Oh, would I ever? No. What I just had up? The Tom Scott video? Just the link was in chat. Just watch it. I viewed it on fucking air before. Um. Thanks for the follow. I have never even heard of this shit. But I'm looking at it now and it's super easy to grow. Interesting. Gluttonous. Thanks. It's a very pretty herb too. And you make a decent tea out of it. And moths avoid it. Hmm. Okay, so don't use this if you have uh, bl uh, bleeding issues or on anticoagulants. Got it. It's one of those. Okay. <laughs> Max, don't even worry about it, Max. <coughs> oh, no, Beast. It's No, it's worth watching. It's correct. <laughs> it really is correct. Yeah, go go watch it. It's it's He's correct. Um, Who 
green curry, hands down, or a chio, uh, 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 oh god, a chiote curry. Off, oh, I'm going back to my roots. <laughs> Tina, I've been following Tom since before anybody knew Tom. Um, I no, legitimately, like my 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 recollection of Tom goes all the way back to the technical difficulties radio show that was recorded occasionally by him and put out. Yeah, I I remember Tom back when he was nobody, back when he was still Mad Captain Tom. I remember the run of Mad Captain Tom. Yeah. It's been a long fucking time watching Tom Scott. I still love those boys. When they get together, they're doing. There's more. There's more uh, technical difficulties videos up. Um. Yeah. It's great. I love seeing them together. Ah, oh, Chris, Gary. Okay. Ah, uh, Matt and Tom. It's basically the poor man's vanilla. Interesting gluttonous. Mystery biscuits. Oh, yeah. I still, I still have all, all of the podcast episodes downloaded on all my devices. I have the YouTube videos downloaded to all my devices. My, my like comfort place occasionally is going back and listening to technical difficulties episodes. Um, from way back in the day I can recite them uh, it's yeah 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 oh god US unity is an entirely a myth based <laughs> a myth a barely coherent fa legal framework that's been desperately trying to collapse under its own weight for decades now um so what was the um what kicked that off actually I saw rabbits say oh beard honey when all of this creation has convinced you the US is unified so somebody said something about unified what I'm saying is in the US power resides in its solid <laughs> Solidarity. Bring everything up in an anarchistic style makes us weak to other styles of government like China, USSR 2.0. That's adorable. Um, I mean, even our military is... Whatever. I... I I just, you know what freaks me out is people who fear progress. People who fear the progression of systems, of humanity, of time. As, as things change and march on, it freaks me out when I encounter people who are resistant to that. Yeah, it was mine. Give it back. <coughs> to be fair, look at where we are now. It's all progress. It's fault. Imagine being the country of Oklahoma. Um, <coughs> East Coast. Worse yet, imagine being the country of Mississippi. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, Max, I'm a transhumanist. I want, like, swappable bodies. I want to be able to, like, take my brain out and put it in a new fucking thing. Right? I'm all for it. So, I think you'll find it was actually the Moore's land. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Gluttonous. Except most people aren't doing well. And that freaks me out. Even it's like, oh, well, it might get worse. Like, devil you know, devil you, you know, you don't sort of situation. I'm I'm the type to go with the devil you don't know, usually. Like, I'm usually with the devil you don't know. Like, it's like, you know what? Fuck this guy. I've been with this guy for a while. Let's change. It's not doing well nearly as much as it's intellectual and inertia, says Rabbit. Um, 
I don't even know where to begin to explaining this. <coughs> what if I told you you could have your cake and eat it too, Beard? What if I told you you could, you could, um, you could, um, have your cake and eat it too? No, they, uh, Kim Jong-un offered them. And they're troops. They're slaves. They're slaves. Um... And that's not even the weirdest story. The weirdest story to come out of Russia and Ukraine recently is that Steven Seagal was spotted in Ukraine with Russian special forces, and he's operating in an official capacity as a spokesperson for Russia. That's the weirdest story. Also, um, Russia has a, a Ukrainian nuclear power plant wired to explode. You know. Shit on a shingle? Oh, schnibs. Uh, you've probably heard it, uh, heard of it, uh, in other names. Um, shit on a sh uh, shingle, uh, is very, very marine. It's very marine. It's chipped beef on toast. Let me get you a few fucking examples of what it can look like. And you can, you'll go from there here. This is probably your most common form. Yeah, that's shit on a shingle. It's very, very military. Um, not a fan of the chip version, but the ground version is delicious as Aka. <laughs> uh, my ma used white gravy, beef, peas, and sauces as beast. <laughs> Cupcake, I can see why it has the name. Um, uh, yeah, public, it's, uh, public, it's, it's toast with, like, ground beef and, um, um, biscuits and gravy, sausage gravy. It's like that. It's sausage gravy. It's a classic biscuits and gravy, sausage gravy, white gravy, fucking over ground beef or sliced beef and chopped on toast. It's, I mean, it's, you know. How do you go wrong? It's meat with sausage gravy on bread. Toasted bread. Difficult to fuck up. <clears throat> oh, gluttonous. You're from Luxembourg. Holy shit. Gluttonous. Gluttonous. How many languages do you speak? Not fluently. How many languages do you speak, gluttonous? It's extremely difficult to fuck up an SOS. Uh, I thought shit on a shingle came from the toilet paper. They have a basic. That shit was, uh, shit was fucking brutal. Four gluttonous. Four. That's not many gluttonous. That's not many. What are you doing? You're a bad Luxemburger. Fucking only four languages. What? What? What is going on with you, gluttonous? You're you're just you're you're not a, not very accomplished. It seems. <laughs> so y'all, if you don't know, the Americans, the Europeans know this already. For Americans, Luxembourgers are fucking hilariously multilingual. If you if you go to their like grocery stores, there's even they'll have like fucking how many languages? They'll have like checkout registers and they'll they'll have flags of how many fucking languages this person speaks. They're ho they're notoriously, uh, <laughs> notoriously polyglottal. Um. Oh, also they're a tax haven. Um. Well, I understand Belgian and Dutch, but I can't really speak. <laughs> uh, what is it with all these European countries that are rounding errors? Monaco is not a nation. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> yeah. No. It's 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 it's. They're insanely polyglottal as a society. It's, yeah, Luxembourg. As soon as you meet one, just ask them how many languages they speak. And when they speak less than seven, give them shit. Uh, oh, yeah, we love tax evaders here. Also, we own Pornhub. Um, <clears throat> I, 
it's because it's a parliamentarian system. That's a fucking stone stone. It's a parliamentarian system. When they say the government, <sighs> okay. So parliaments work weird. Um, probably closer to the way ours should work. But stone. When they say the government resigned, it was essentially the prime minister and their cabinet. Uh, it's it's the upper echelon that makes up the government, right? And so when they resigned, they've got a new incoming group. They've got a new incoming group. They may have done it a little prematurely, though. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's not as weird as you think it is. It's 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 fairly normal. It's fairly normal. Um, sweats in most serene Republic of San Marino. <laughs> uh, if you, if you want to learn Dutch, just learn German. Two birds. Are Indians more Middle Eastern or Asian? Uh, they're Asian. Logical. They're Asian. I mean, class classically, they're classified as Asian. Yeah, it's the subcontinent. It's Asian. Just be... <laughs> uh... Do you want to talk about the principality of Andorra, says says the Frenchie. Tiny nation. Tons of money. Uh, Trump, oh yes, Andorra is awesome. Uh, it's arbitrary and stupid. It was invented by a drunk map maker, says Rabbit. God, it was, wasn't it? Um... <clears throat> So, I'm starting to feel my neuro. Guess who's the Prince of Andorra? Me? <laughs> Two, apparently. Bishop from Spain and the President of France. It's a shame. I was hoping it was me. Oh, Indians eat tons of fish, logical. Just not in the subcontinent. Uh, if you go to India, to any of the coastal areas, logical, they eat tons of fish. Like, fish is a primary staple in so many curries in India. They eat a lot of it. Um, <clears> Hope <throat> we went erect. Uh, it's been... The same with Norwegian and Danish, but from Dutch. German's uh, easy, but I cheat as my stepmother's from there. Speaking of a different kettle of fish, though. Oh, yeah, it's totally racist. Uh, though, Akka, there is, like, um, the body odor gene that most Europeans, like, you smell Europeans, like, the way we smell. Um, Japanese, uh, the Japanese population doesn't have that gene. So there is actually something to that. There is, like, there's differences in earwax, there's differences in odor production, there's differences in, like, it's legitimately a, like, it's for real, like, there, there is actually, it's how this is being applied, questionable, asterisk that. But there is legitimate science between the, the differences uh, between um, body odors of the major continents and groups. Uh, there's differences in cilantro taste, even that, there's correct and broken. Uh, some people taste soap for some reason. Yeah, like in sweat. Yeah. White people smell like chicken. White person speaking a word from POC close friends. Uh, when we get wet, we smell like wet dog, apparently. That's another thing, by the way. Yeah. If you uh, if you hang out with black folk long enough. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had, you know, I've had, I've had a partner. Like, I asked. I'm like, because it's a thing. I'm like, I'm like, do we really smell like wet dog? He's like, yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we straight up, we get, if it rains on us, we smell like wet dog. <clears throat> yeah, and we don't even smell it. We don't even smell it. But trust me, black folk do. <laughs> they do. They've been talking about that one for years. I smell like shea butter. Fuck off. <laughs> Caboose. Fuck if I know. 
Good <laughs> rabbit. I, however, smell like coffee and frustration. Uh, if I smell like chicken and dog, I'm fine with that. I, you know, there's worse things to smell like, I suppose. I often smell like weed because I smoke enough of it that I kind of have an odor to it. I smell like Axe and Mountain Dew. God. And you roll call. Oh, God. You're, you're our new. You're, oh, God. You're our new glazy. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. They attacked the power plant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on. Non-binary is providing us with shit we don't want to know about. <sighs> oh, that doesn't work. Is that, how stand, how current is this? There's a date on this. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <clears throat> This is all that. Um, hi, Europeans. It's been nice knowing you. Don't worry. Some of your best people came over here and get, brought us your food from way back when. It's cool. It's cool. <clears throat> it was Steven Seagal, wasn't it? It probably was, actually. That's, that's, that's the fucking scary part. It probably was Steven Seagal. Like, do you understand the fucking, what we have to cope with? Is the fact that, like, that's a very real possibility. As weird as this shit is, you're like, no, the nuclear winter was triggered by Steven Seagal. What? Yeah. That's, it's a non-zero probability. You understand that, right? Like, it's a non-zero probability at this point. He's in the region operating with, like, special forces as a spokesperson. It's a literally now a non-zero possibility that Steven Seagal initiated w nuclear World War III and went nuclear. <clears throat> yeah, but you guys mostly ruined it. Eh, Amherst, we got back to the we got back to it eventually. Took us a while. Our grandparents absolutely butchered that food. Yeah, and then our parents had no clue what was going on at that point. But um, yeah, Gen X and Millennials basically revived food in this country. <clears throat> You know, I thought I, I thought you guys would blow yourselves up in a civil war before we'd go. So I'm saying, hmm. <laughs> oh my fucking god, how sad is it that Seagal is our tunnel agent? He's not ours. Uh, he poked them so confidently that they gave up. <laughs> uh, uh, could be worse. Gerard Depardieu is uh, is also an option. Fuck! Can you imagine if that, that was a Seagal movie plot? Early '90s, double agent. Jeez, it would would work. Not too late. We're working on it. <laughs> you can't even kick that high now. Can we Can we give you our best person? He's got blonde hair. He's an ex-prime minister. Already has a U.S. passport. That sounds amazing, non-binary. We will happily take that person. We're going to run him through Canada first, though. Um... <laughs> We just it's 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 standard immigration protocol. All of our all of our flights from the UK land in Canada first. Um, they're good. Are you um are you familiar with the the, the town of Nunavut? Um. <clears throat> Let's see. Here is. Here's none of it. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Also, um, this is also none of it. <clears throat> no, goodness, they do not. No, they do not. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll route him through there first. We'll see, we'll see how he, you know, how he does, you know, he'll fit in with the polar bears. I'm sure. Yeah. Let him, let him go talk to them. <laughs> Grappa, fair, fair enough. Grappa. Um, 
if he's a U.S. passport, he's, uh, uh, he still has citizenship, doesn't he? Yeah. Or, uh, well, you can, you can buy a U.S. passport. You, you can, you literally, you can, you can buy a U.S. passport. Investment programs. <clears throat> or given to various people for various reasons. Corporations, uh, fucking world leaders. There's diplomatic advantages to it as well. Uh, did he renounce it? Hey. Oh. Oh. It's about U.S. tax obligations. Fucking dickhead. Uh, <laughs> uh, agony? It's like a couple million. Um... Yeah, I forget what the investment programs require. It's like a couple million. You can get a UK one for two uh, two point five seven. <clears throat> We're probably right around there. A couple million. Yeah. We had a caboose. Uh, let's see. New Zealand's one point nine eight million. Yeah, you just they're investor programs. <clears throat> That's how they work. You have to you have to invest a certain amount over a certain period of time in certain areas of economies, and you get you get a passport, you get citizenship. Um, Dominica in the uh, in the Caribbean, infants two hundred fifty thousand dollars invested in real estate, you can get a passport. Yeah, most most countries have that sort of deal. Yeah, Cyprus, Che thinks is about five hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Most countries have that sort of thing. Like you can buy your way in. New Zealand, fucking, you know, they, they all do. Um, oh, well, they'll be happy about that, non binary. Uh. Oh, wait, did something happen? Oh, shit, I didn't even see it. <clears throat> I used to be a conservative and raised Catholic. My apologies. My sympathies. Um, I must be a pagan because I hate conservative ideology, if that is even something that I have, and I never go to church. Um, pagan's a specific word. You don't necessarily have to be a pagan. Uh, hating conservative ideology, on the other hand, um, that is indicative of certain things. Not going to church, I mean, that is what it is. I have a family friend that is now and has been my caretaker for years, and he started my path to more leftist ideals by skillfully challenging me and poking in the fallacies I believe. Church is something I just didn't have to go to after my parents split up, so I pretty much have been questioning what I was taught ever since. That's fair legend maker. Um... Well, welcome. Um, I stream five days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, you're in Texas, right, Legend? Um, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I stream at 5.30 p.m. Pacific. And then Tuesday, Thursdays, I stream at 11.30 p uh, p.m. Pacific. So you're catching the 11, uh, the Thursday show. Um, Fridays, we Friday nights on the Discord server, we do Bad Movie Night where we all get fucked up and watch really shitty movies and laugh our asses off if we can uh, after a week of horror. Um, so welcome to the community. I say, I say that just because, you know, like, look, if, you've, if you're questioning, uh, we, we, we have people who can provide answers depending on what you're questioning. Uh, be it hardcore economic questions, fucking anthropology, indigenous stuff, fucking L the LGBT stuff, we got, you know, whatever. Plus, we're a whole a whole nest of fucking anarchists. So we're all theory heads in some regard. Um, so if you got questions about theory, we know that. If you got questions about direct action, we know that. So hang out. You're welcome to. And <clears throat> as you have questions, ask away. We're not afraid of them. Get on the uh, Discord server, though. Because if, if you have questions, that's where we'll be 
most readily available to answer stuff. Um, I'll put the link in chat. I don't know if you use Discord, uh, Legend Maker, um, but the link will be in chat for you. Uh, there's Beast hit me, <laughs> Beast and I did at the same time. But feel free to use the link. That'll get you in the Discord community. And then, you know, that. Who is Brigham Young? <laughs> that feels like Legend Maker. Who is, which one of you fuckers is Brigham Young? <clears throat> uh, either way. So, yeah. No, happy to have you aboard. Happy to answer questions. course you are uh <clears throat> all right oh wait creator panel update what'd we get uh fucking whatever i already saw that feature <clears throat> he resurrected yep yeah, fucking yeah he liked them young <laughs> uh, buried a bunch of people. Yeah, that he did. <laughs> Ramsey, I just saw the Mar a Lago uh, FBI raid uh, Lego set. Hilarious. All right. What do I have as options here? Can we? There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. One mm -hmm. breaks all my rules. Holy shit! Sorry, I'm just looking for something. Oh, you know what? I love this. What on earth? All right. Yes. That's 100% where I'm going to put you idiots. 100%. I found where I'm going to raid you to. Now you need to behave. You need to behave. This is... No. No rabbit. No, I'm not. No, I was going to put you someplace serious. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's still going though. Um, I was going to put you at, um, uh, study with me, PhD. Yeah, I was going to put you at, uh, study with me, PhD. <laughs> I'm literally a PhD student. <laughs> Fuck it, who's a, a full-time PhD student. <laughs> fucking streaming study sessions and casual gaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, Beast, you're right. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. I'm not going to do that to his channel. All right. Not doing it. Not doing it. We always behave. Sure, sure, Amorous. No, logical. No, I'm not doing it to his channel. That's what that's, what that's about. Um, Radio Melbourne. You know what? We still have time for me to look. Hold on. Let me look at Radio Melbourne. What are they doing? Fuck it. Bam. Redirected. Last second. Oh, legend. I get that. It's it, We have a few people with like progressive disabilities, disabilities, mobility issues within the community. So legend, um, 
if you haven't, follow the channel and you'll get a notification when I go live. I go I go live five days a week. So yeah. If, uh, if you follow the channel or join the Discord community, um, like I said, we're around. <clears throat> ah, you welcome, uh, you welcome, Max. <laughs> Later, Rex. Uh, hi, Tina. <laughs> Good luck, Tina. Uh. Better public. Public, I checked whether you were streaming or not. I swear to God. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, why isn't public streaming? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Public's in chat right now. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. 